What's up, Patrice O'Neill? Patrice O'Neill. Huh? What was that? <laughs> just waking up, getting ready, What's getting ready on? for the big radio yeah. show. Just oh. talking about crazy white guy crime. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, folks. I'm, I'm listening to you. All right. All right. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I didn't. I'll try to be quiet. I'll we're just trying to do the. the uh, we're just trying to do the whole weekend wrap up thing. You got the big shooting so in Arizona. Happened? Somebody got shot. You know. Come on. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. I. I just one of those things. That it is, yeah, you know, How do you miss, not pay attention? It's everywhere. You just go. Mm. You, you're just disgustingly not informed on it, and you just go. Yeah. It just didn't hit me. Yeah. I. I this guy, this shooting and thing, I don't even know if who died and what's going on. Then Come I found on. It was a woman. Congresswoman. I was really I was really torn. The birds and shit was getting me. Yeah. Stop at the birds. We we the, had the, the ex- whole world. I don't the no, whole fucking we had, world. We had the explanation on Friday. We're moving did past you? the birds, yes. Oh, did you? Someone I, showed I, know, me. I wasn't fucking here. Me, That's me. why you was paying attention. Yeah, no, yeah. Fucking, I'm just busting your balls. Fucking fuck with me for paying attention I, to what I, I want to pay attention to. <laughs> the end of the, the no. apocalypse Hell fucking, fucking is no. interesting to me. Michu Kaku explained it perfectly on He's Friday. He's an ass when it comes and to that probably, shit. He explain shit. And probably the reason why the birds have been dying all over the world is because there's been a lot of fireworks in the last uh, week or so for the New Year's. So. Birds, 50,000 crabs in fucking UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, penguins are washing up on shore. So out of fucking, nowhere this is happening? It's, or It's not just fucking shitty fish in Maryland. It's, what do you it's think it the is, planet. Then? You know what, what it is? What do you think it is? It's that we've been so good to these animals over the years and, and kept them so healthy that there's so many of them now that they're just fucking getting killed. Manatees used to get run over by speedboats all the time. Patrice. All right, fuck it. Patrice, logically, with the whole birds in Arkansas thing, it was one species. They were all flying together, and they got fucking startled. Something happened. Someone Whether show me fireworks a or something. You know, we, Someone show me a picture of this guy. The whole planet. I don't know about Different the other animals. shit. You don't know about the other shit. That's what makes it fucked Hold up. Hold on. That's great. Is oh. the other shit. I, I, this happens all the time. I think. I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you hear of this? Yes, that's why I'm bringing it up. There's a little pond. Ant knows where it is. It's, uh, what's the pond in Centerport? Something kill. Huh? No, what the fuck is it? A Uh, mill mill pond, pond, I guess. Ten koi washed up? I don't know. No. Thousands and thousands where the whole fucking neighborhood stunk like holy hell for about a week or so. It happens. The whole world all right but shit's happening let me just I'm make just saying hold on let me make my point and then you could you could okay i think this happens all the time i really do i think what is going on here is the media likes to jump on something like shark attacks <laughs> name some of the other shit they've done over the years and all of a sudden it becomes uh, the thing or, well volcano and it becomes the thing to talk about where now all of a sudden you're saying holy fuck what the fuck's going on with the world that's my dumb two cents on this. Someone All showed right. me a picture of the sky in fucking Arkansas, wherever the fuck it was. It is black. Amazing how many of these fucking birds are in the sky. It's covering the whole sky. I- a few I'm not make arguing a left. Arkansas. I can go with that. It's yeah, but it's the, all over the world. It's the world. Yeah. Well, it, that's all I'm saying. I, like, I don't have a fucking... I but think, shit like that just... I think because of what happened in Arkansas, and then the media goes, oh, fuck, crab's dead in Germany, or wherever the fuck, and then they have to go with it. Yeah, they I would love to talk up. to... I, all I'm saying is I would love to talk to a scientist that actually watches this shit all the time and not the media where they're going to watch it for the next week or two and then move on to the next horse shit. I, I just wonder if this type of thing happens all the time. Mm. But it wasn't reported, but now it's the hot thing to report. I, I don't I don't know if it's a hot thing to report because they're I, not reporting the world. They're reporting Arkansas. And then they report Maryland. Because, as you know, in United States is the world to most people. So yeah, I, I'm I, just saying. I don't even know if I'm just. I, that's my question. That's all. Once I seen that it's like all kind of different species and all kind of different things. And it's all kind of different birds and all kind of different shit. That's what makes me go. Oof, that's that's strange. Right. I don't have. I'm not Michu Kaku. Yeah. But I'm just saying. If you know, if, if some things you don't need to be told <laughs> well, to feel a certain way, I don't, I'm just well, saying. Maybe the, maybe the head crab, you know, led them all to their death. Michu Kaku said, "It one black bird, the one leader, the lead got bird. a little confused and did a little header, and everyone else follows because that's how they fucking live their lives." Well, Michu Kaku's the whole point in his life is to say fuck anything that has to do with God. So it's like <laughs> anything. I, I like this is if I wasn't so afraid of dying. I would love to see people who talk this shit living and just see what happens when it all comes. I just like to see his dumb head on fire up. running down the street <laughs> when when whatever he tries to explain is just you foolish mortals. Right, and he's right. just like fucking 
Oh God! Oh God! And God, mm. please God, but set his head on fire. Fucking crabs I, ah, and, and penguins. This is and manatees. Quite painful. I, it's strange. I have questions, but I, I'm just wondering if this happens all the time. That's that's the angle we need to take. Yeah, but I don't, somebody that knows this shit, a, mar- a marine biologist or somebody. I don't know. The, if this happens and we didn't hear, like, at what point when the news has been less sensational? In yeah. our in our life, right. this is is the most sensational now. Yeah, there was a time when the news was actually the fucking news, right? And Walter you get on the, on the AP wire, millions of species of animals are dying all over the world. We've never heard it, even when news was news. I, we've never heard. Now they search it out. They search out things that are in common with something here, just so they could say like, "Oh, look at that! The birds died here." All right, let's see if anything else is happening in in the world. Oh, some whales washed up on shore. Let's talk about that. And then the the crabs dying, and then this fucking fish, this pond, and, and then you realize, oh, this shit was happening all the time. But now they're putting it all together in one story, and, they, and making it seem a little, you know, I, I think what happens, apocalyptic. I think what happens with the news, they need oh. one big incident to happen, and then they're like, let's find more shit. I mean, this homeless Ted Williams guy, right? Yes. If it wasn't for the shooting in Arizona, we were going to have a week or two of homeless fucking homeless oh, Charlie type God stories. He's a, hey, mommy. Hey, mommy. But I'm just saying. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Don't make fun of my voice. Yeah. Hey. Hey, it's <laughs> Kraft macaroni and cheese. I haven't, well, I haven't seen my mother in a... it yeah. like, But you know what, though? That motherfucking voice is like... It's, it's silk. Smooth. He's smooth. <laughs> yeah, but, I, I, but I, I, I keep thinking that his breath has to be horrendous. <laughs> Not anymore. Hopefully Not anymore is right. he drinks scope. Scope. Yeah. Not anymore is right. I'm if you have a problem with bad breath, get scope. You know, I was reading over the weekend that nine dentists are offering their services to give them brand new teeth. No, all nine at once, probably. <laughs> right. They no, all want to get in there and work no, together. That a super team. teeth have something to do with that voice. That, oh, don't my God. Don't fix your teeth. Out. Head. All of a sudden, he has a whistle because they fixed his they teeth fi- Don't get your teeth fixed. Got one of those. Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do to my voice? <laughs> they ruined his million-dollar voice. That <laughs> motherfucker's going to be a millionaire by the end of the year. God bless him. From home, uh, yeah, but we're thinking. What uh, happened to my silky <laughs> voice? <Right>. My silky <laughs> voice. <laughs> yeah, but but there's something not right about the guy. But the media doesn't want to pay attention no, to that part. No, no, they, they, they tried, don't want to pay to get attention him. to that. They tried to get him. They did try to get him. It was it, the, yeah, they, they put up the, his mini, the mini faces of whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what and they ca- all misdemeanors. Yeah. But what caused that? Like, what is going on in He's this guy's insane. head? Okay, why aren't they really yeah, talking about it? Because they don't want to fuck it up. They don't want Here, to make it scary. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. Uh, Oprah offered him uh, a gig on uh, her Oprah Winfrey network. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably throwing that Oprah money at him mm-hmm. and shit. And I said this before. He's crazy. This guy, homeless people aren't people that, like, for the most part, there's a small percentage that uh, lost their jobs, fell through the cracks, they're in shelters and trying to get out, and they're like, I don't know what happened, now I'm homeless, this sucks. Most of them are homeless because they're fucking crazy. They're just crazy people. I would have to think I'm I'm three friends' couches removed from homelessness. <laughs> yes. I would, oh, I would, yeah. If I, I wasn't crazy. Are. Like, right, I, right. I, you, you know, know how right. much... Yes. Shit, you got to fuck up to finally be to on the finally street. Finally, be on the street. You, you, to be like You're right. completely on the street. You're right. You're right. And you can lose motherfucker. your own home, but then there's always like family homes you could go to, and then I they get so. then they get sick of you, and then you go to maybe a, a friend's house for a little while. Then you and can then possibly you get a maybe or... maybe you can find a little shelter in the neighborhood, and then they fucking hate you, and then this finally you're homeless. One Oprah Winfrey check away from the bottle again. And fucking just doing shit. You can't hand a guy like that Oprah Winfrey money. And his mother's disgusted. You, his didn't, mother, see this, you didn't see the mother disgusted oh yeah, she's video? Like, she's like, like he's going to disappoint me again. Don't disappoint me. No, no. before the mummy thing. Before, oh, really? Just her. Hi, mommy. Before he, he seen her again. Right, right. And she was just, a, uh, just like he, it was almost like. She was warning the world against. Oh, like, like, don't, the wolf put man, this, like, don't put this guy up on a pedestal, motherfuckers. <laughs> telling you he ain't shit. He is a. Piece she was saying of that shit. my son ain't shit. Right. She's had. And he hasn't him. seen it in twenty years. Oh. Uh, she so she cut him off. Yeah. At seventy, but he's only fifty. Yeah. She's ninety. So at seventy, her yep. her thirty year old son 
made her that sick. She and said she was popping out kids me. at 72. So that there's something was wrong there because that has, means she popped him out at 40. Yeah. Then I, I think it's a little older year old. Than 50. It, it, huh? I think. Oh, no. well, you said he's 50. 52 or something? 50. Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, so she's like 90. Well, 50, 93. 50. So. And as he's going, hi, mommy, hi, mommy. Uh, she said, oh, hi, hi. And then, and then the the second line was, please don't disappoint me again. Don't How much di- disappointment can you do if you're a 20-year-old guy <laughs> and your mother's 12,000 years old? She can't discipline you. She can't really. She's just too old to do a lot of things. Yeah. Like, I would, I don't blame it all on Ted Williams. It's just like. He must have been just doing the drugs and. And she's Robin super Christian. She's Lordy Jesus. I, I saw it. She, cause she said, the product, my product, my product, prodigal or pro- Pro- prodigal son. My yeah. prodigal son has returned. So she's the Bible quotes. Yeah. He's yeah. insane. Probably a lot to do from his crazy uh, ass crazy Christian mother. mother. But she believed in him and, and, and he disappointed her. And he yep. was still he was still working here and there. And he went doing to school. Doing a local radio spot here, <laughs> yeah. a local, local thing here. <laughs> he, he went to Smooth Voice School. Smooth, smooth Voice School. Yes, I did. <laughs> that, that voice is ridiculous. I yeah. mean, he went to that it's school. Perfect. And, and you know they're going to hire a don't fuck up guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's going to be around to go, Ted, look. Dude, he's got people oh, around you him. You think right? he's going to have a don't fuck up guy? He's going to have to have a don't fuck up guy because they're they, they going to. They're, ta- he's they're talking corporate. about. They're talking about a Super Bowl ad. He's God got, bless him. He's got some fucking guys with some really nice suits around him. He already. hit the lottery. They, and, they grabbed him yeah. up quickly, and, and they're probably getting 70% of everything he makes. And now they're doing like a homeless. There's videos of just everybody trying to discover the next talent. Dude, next homeless talent Hold on. Guy. That brings me back to what I'm saying. That's what the news does. Now it's all about, wow, look at all these talented homeless people. I didn't know that there was so much talent out there yeah. with the homeless people. Yeah. It becomes the hot thing. That's why I question if, if animals are all, all, all of a sudden dying or if it's just the hot thing right now for the media. I, and I don't have the answer to that. I'm just but throwing that in the dying, discussion. Though. Yeah, but have they been dying for the last right. 20, 30 years? So you think there's a story of millions of fish that wash up on the show that and, we have no one touches? About? Yes. That maybe no one even It just didn't about. pop up. And this, in this My world thought, where you yes. can't hide. Or it did in the local news that day of, in Michigan but or something. But the CNN is too busy doing something else. We really fish didn't have global are just too move. important to our food. Yeah, to, for millions of fish in Maryland, there's plenty of to other to wash ones up on shore, and Dude, it means nothing. Fish is like they're like bugs, though they're just everywhere. Why would you say that? Fish are everywhere. What? But what are you basing that on? Just your gut? Seventy-five percent of the Earth being covered with water. There is that fish. doesn't mean shit, though. That doesn't mean you, that shit ain't dying off. Have and, you spent time yeah, in the water? Have fish. you ever put a net in the water and see how much fish you could just scoop up in one fucking no. net? No. I'm just saying, but they're everywhere. They had to staff to stop certain things. Well, because well, certain fish. Well, because those are the tasty ones. They search out the tasty I, 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 ones. But salmon, there salmon is, are grown. There's a lot of horrible in homes now. Like yeah. <laughs> you no. can't find I, them I, in the I, ocean. I understand, but Patrice, there's a lot of horrible looking, horrible tasting fish out there, and we don't Plenty eat them. them. I know, so they don't count. No, There's shit that the, we might eat that wash yeah, up. Yeah, we're, we're, we're depleting the fish that tastes good. Yeah, and, the sh- and the shit that tastes good probably eats the shit that is washing up on. It's all fragile. Oh, there's a lot of irresponsibility on our part, <laughs> certainly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is you kind of made my point sort of. Also, now it's all about the homeless guy that might have talent in your neighborhood. And all the news crews are out there fucking filming their videos, hoping that they find the next Ted Williams. But that was yanked off the uh, off the front page and out of uh, out of our TVs because of the shooting what, in Arizona. What about the guy? What about uh, what did Howard Stern do? Yeah, well, that's the dude. Yeah. Oh, geez, uh, his early picture from his his yearbook <laughs> or something. <clears throat> yeah, so now something. we're upset about this. What did he do? He killed. He killed. We really don't know. Killed. Dude, I saw this guy's He's face. Crazy. I saw a shoot, and I and my head. Completely, you know. Just oh, whatever. I, I, ca- I tried to keep up with Omar Thornton, and no one wanted to keep up with him. Like I, I they What's just decided the, the black guy that in Connecticut. I tried to keep up with that. I tried to make it news to me. Wait, yeah. what's but, the black guy in Connecticut now? You, exactly. Uh, do you see? Uh, uh, do you fucking see the exactly? You five times you said to me, "How could you not?" Like, like I'm a fucking like I was lying. Now that Omar uh, Thornton, I can you win this argument. Know. I can win this argument because this fucking thing was white. This thing. No, 
Well, maybe. All my hold phone on, hold on, shot maybe. seven people in the beer oh, factory because oh, okay, he, right, right. he was dealing with racism. I know the beer factory. Yeah. And, but that, that shit left in one day. Because they got bored with it. Well, no, the news. I'm just saying they got bored well, with it. How, like, and they'll why, get, this uh, is sensationalism, motherfucker. They'll get bored with this in another uh, this has No, cause no this, this has legs, actually. This has legs because it's a uh, congresswoman. It's... Uh, it's got a lot of political overtones. They're, they're blaming, you know, CNN's Rhetoric. blaming Fox News. Fox News is blaming CNN. I know Sarah Palin's in there somewhere. Sarah Palin. Just, Sarah Palin's, uh, her rhetoric is, might have caused yeah, this, this. Some this, people are saying. They're saying the nasty right-wing rhetoric and people like Rush Limbaugh and uh, Sean Hannity and uh, the Glenn like Beck. are, are, are <laughs> saying things that are influencing people to go out and uh, shoot uh, these people. Uh, this guy, if you read, I, re I read his, his shit. He is a babbling lunatic. Can we find something where comprehend these guys anything. are, are, you can, you can, if you're crazy, mm. uh, you must've been having one of these guys on it to find something where if you're fucking crazy, yeah. that Sean Hannity said something that makes you want to kill somebody. I like to hear yeah, I like what this. could be misconstrued with leading people to I, kill. I, I want to hear this shit. I'd love to know what this fucking Fox News Manchurian candidate shit well, is, is all about. And this is a tough spot for us because over the years, uh, people have claimed that the type of radio show we do influences kids. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Remember, we do what? There's a million of these articles out there from oh. the past. To live a lifestyle that's just, you know, yeah, that uh, sex and drugs sex, and fucking violence. violence against women. Right. You know, when you talk about Whip Em Out Wednesday or something, it's uh, just promoting uh, violence against women and sexualizing them. And uh, so it's tough. Up. It's Guys tough. like tits eat me. Yeah, it's tough for us to say that uh, Sarah Palin's rhetoric caused this because, you know, we've we've no. lived this. And game I would for fucking many, many love years. to. I would love to go. Yep. Oh, I, I would know, love yeah, to say yeah. Rush Limbaugh, well, it's the famous, Bill O'Reilly did it, something like that, but just, just, just yeah, play it's, something. It's Show me one instance. It's the famous argument it. about uh, you know violent video games. Is this that guy, causing real violence out there? Yeah. And a lot of people will say yes, which is completely ridiculous if you just do the numbers and see how many people are actually playing this guy was video afraid games of, and how many, how many uh, incidences uh, out there we've had. He was afraid of mind control. He was, guy? Yeah, yeah. That's what he, was, he was writing shit about mind control and... And different types of currency. If you ha make your own currency, you will have currency. Then you would have your own currency. Therefore, your currency would be currency, the currency. Currency like like cur like, even try like electricity or money. No currency. money, money. But but you can't. You you like he's trying to make these points, but you're reading them and realizing he is babbling. Like you can't even you can't make a point out of it. It's that disjointed, well, can, can this we, guy. Can we get Club Soda Kenny to read his ramblings? That would be good. Could we do that? Yeah. I think, I think his transcripts. I think his uh, writings should be... Uh... He's fucking crazy. He's a crazy guy that, for some reason, shot people. They don't know yet. He, he you know, they, But they, you can't they, blow it off with just... Cuckoo nut. I mean, yeah, you got you, can. you can't just go. He's a he's no, a nut. No, you no, can't. You got it. You got it. Had, something had to influence him. There had to be a drop of, of uh, logic there uh, to well, make to make something into something his to go life, do that. Maybe he got because he lived up to this point and hasn't done that yet. Maybe so he did that with a purpose. Maybe it was uh, his life. He was rejected doing something. Maybe he he felt that the government was trying to control his mind. Uh, you know, oh, that's a it, fair point. It's crazy shit. It's fucking crazy shit. I mean, I mean, don't dismiss him. Don't, I'm, no, don't, I mean, no. don't dismiss it as crazy. I like, you know, you just can't crazy. dismiss that shit as I do he's a fucking loon. As, as fucking crazy. And his own. Because he did something very not crazy. But his own deliberate. fucking psycho mind made him do this. It, it, it. It's like saying, it's like saying, oh, okay, well, now I understand. He saw a Baskin Robbins sign and uh, thought it was the devil. Mm. It doesn't make it legitimate. It no. doesn't make it, it, No, I'm it, not it, trying to legitimize it. Then you can completely nonsense. just write him off as a lunatic. I don't like the fact that uh, uh, politically they're trying to turn this guy into this martyr, martyr that, or, or uh, you know, a villain that uh, was influenced by one side or the other because it wasn't. He's a kook. He's a nut. You're going to see you're going to see another one of these I'm telling you. This really? Is, it's, it's a fucking pattern. I'm telling you. Because they just made him a rock star. Muhammad Ali said a quote. 
<laughs> I've heard recently was amazing. Back before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before that. <laughs> Back before the shakes. <laughs> I like your new look, by the way, with the winter hat. Well, it was a little cold, and it is yeah, shitty cold, cold outside. <laughs> it is shitty cold. My big toe is it. not having a good time right this second. It. Uh-oh. Um, your big toe all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right. I got right, a, war- a warm, warm good. thing. But he goes, he just goes, if he worked on a cruise ship, and uh, I'm just, this, this is a bomber situation. He worked on a cruise ship, and he's always been in the kitchen or whatever. And then one day they told him to come upstairs and start driving the boat. He'd be like, get the fuck out of here, because that means this boat is going to be sinking soon. <laughs> and I think somehow, man, Obama just got a hold of a fucking uh, a sinking, sinking ship. Boat. <laughs> and I just think it, the kooks was ready to just be kooky. And I think his his presence in terms of being, you know, the black president and the fact that white people are – now have this excuse to now say he made me be this way. Right. And now this shit hits the fan and all the crazy white folks are just coming out everywhere, man. Well, they're, This they're, is a white people situation right now. But they're and using, I, I can't it, even the, look, they're I, using it the other way around. They're they're using it to try to promote more of Obama's agenda and, and the Democrats with though. this kooky guy than they are. A lot uh, of white people exiting. It's a big exodus of Democrats. Because Democrats just seem to be the, uh, you know, the nigger lovers, and it's like the Republicans are the racists or whatever. Right, you know? right. And, yep, and yep. at this moment, it just seems like there's a lot of white folks leaving the 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 side of change. They got fed up. And they got fed up fast. They got fed up in two black years. black people did, too, though. I mean, I've seen a lot of black people that have been totally disillusioned. They they had expectations well, that yeah, went you know. way beyond re- reality. Yeah, finally, <laughs> finally. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's, that's what I said from day one. That in the end, a lot of people are going to be very disappointed because they're thinking their their definition of change is a lot different than what Obama could possibly do for anyone. Well, the one woman that said, uh, "This is great. I'm I don't, I'm not going to have to worry about my rent oh, and yeah. my oh, my crap. oil payments and my gas." She's very disappointed. You think at this point, <laughs> but she there's, is? Yeah. there's also a white guy who was who who bought more guns, thinking it was going to be a Negroopolis, <laughs> and he brought a bunch of guns. And now, you yeah. know, he's like, "Whoa, what happened?" I mean, if you don't understand politics, right, or understand, you know, like I'm into the old New World all the shit, any anyway, New World yeah, all the yeah. shit anyway. So ultimately, it's all. The politics part is all just some, some other horse shit. Uh-huh. Um, people who are just completely believe in the political system and they just go by what they told, which is a lot of fucking. There's a lot of drones, Ooh, and it's yeah. it's it's just like they don't think. And so, like when you see, you know, five years ago, six years ago, we was on the radio before talking about the TSA, and now five years later, just because a couple of people who believe in politics, mm-hmm. they get fucked over at the airport. Now it's it's a story. Now so it's people a story. Who've right, been, right. Who've been acting like like this guy. I'm not defending him, but he could be screaming something that makes you dismiss him as a fucking nutbag, and he just goes out and he just does his thing or whatever. But he might be saying something that five years later, it's official. But once once the drones start crying about it, it becomes it's too late. Yeah, it's yeah, too late. Yeah. It's already uh, out of the bag. Uh, so I don't know what he's saying. I'm I don't saying, either, and I, I read it. I don't want to dismiss this guy from, you know, people say harp. If you go to that harp, the H-A-A-R-P, that thing that's causing earthquakes, it, it it's sounds controlling ridiculous. The weather. It sounds ridiculous. Yeah. But that's the basis of every good sci-fi movie, every good horror movie, <laughs> is that there was a monster, and he really... Yeah. Was it? There was a creature from no the Black Lagoon, wants to really. It. There was a Cloverfield. Man. There was Cloverfield. No one ever wants to There was a monster that just got, it, it's it, something has got to be real at some point. You know, so I'm just saying guys like this, when I first learned why bread was bad to eat was from a crazy ranting homeless man in the train station. <laughs> really? He's like the bread, and bread and I'm listening What's to wrong him. with bread? Well, it, what does he say? It soaks up it's it it's like a sponge that soaks things up in your stomach so all, that all the good shit yeah that and it, is, that's and it supposed expands. to digest it's like a sponge that <laughs> it goes in and then it, it expands like crazy but man it shit. does but i go well that's that shitty wonder bread I, three, <laughs> I that's bread. a sponge i three love it too, crazy but. stories i heard real quick the bread guy yeah. from a crazy man uh 
uh, two was a woman that explained why people aren't afraid, why this country's not afraid of black people, uh, and they're afraid of Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, because oh. black people prove that we will be slaves when it comes down to it. So <laughs> shit is the fan. We will be you slaves. All, you already have it uh, where, where you will be slaves because you have been. We have been. Oh, okay. So that's why no one really <laughs> counts us, and, they, ah, and Mexicans ah, and Puerto ah. Ricans. They've never been slaves. Right, So right. it's like, oh, they're dangerous. And then the third one was wa- was space travel. Was this guy, I forgot, but it was a guy who said that space people know how to manipulate the magnetic poles of each planet. So they, they know how to. That's a homeless guy? A homeless crazy guy. Dr. Mag- Dr. Michu cocky in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just saying, I, I, I remember cocky. those things, and these people are supposed to be fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> right. We should take a break. Oh, no, that's fucking We're going to try to figure out why uh, the animals are dying. Someone, they couldn't uh, stick around. They said, there's pockets of poison all over the fucking place. And if all right, that sounds good. If a school of fish uh, happens to come upon that little pocket of pocket poison. Pocket of poison? Sounds go. good to me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, that's conjecture. I don't so, know. Tell me something that going to make me shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't you just know. made up your, some shit, sir, who, or madam? Yeah, I would like to get some kind of expert that kind of knows how this shit works. It just says it. I'm certainly not going to listen to the stupid media and what they think. Right. Mm. What else we got? Uh, football movies. Pockets of poison. I just want to say Robert De Niro. What happened to him? I'm not sure yet. What? I'm just not sure yet. I don't know. The black woman pregnant. One. All I'm saying is Did Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Just in case. I want, uh, just in case. I want all responsible gun owners to uh, go to the NRA website and uh, read up on all your laws and and uh, and see if maybe that's uh, something you want to do to defend your Second Amendment right. Oh, they are good the, luck to you. They are the people oh, that uh, are there, there on the other side. In the very near future. They'll be, a, they'll be erasing that, that Second Amendment in a couple of is That's I'm on just, the way out. No, I'm just never. saying. That'll be gone. No way. No. You don't think so? Not, Not at all. Fair people, enough. People love their no. guns. <laughs> yeah, but oh, more importantly, I take it from my dead cold end. From good my end. cold yeah. dead end. More importantly, I think Ant needs a new suit for a banquet that's going up. Oh, you think that's it? Uh, yeah, that was. I might be going. That was a little. That was a anything. little plug hole. I'm right a lifer there. now. I, I got my I lifetime. My lifetime membership. Enjoy. So you don't have to pay anymore. Um, no, I, now I pay through contributions. When I get, to, I get some. I got a lot of mail from uh, the NRA, and uh, it says, "Hey, you know, we need a couple of bucks. We're fighting this." And I read all the legislation. You no know big mamas in your mailbox to too. And she's looking in that right. mailbox. Yeah, yeah. She looking. She making. She seeing. She seeing what Mister Kumia do. See what I'm doing in there? Oh yeah. 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 Big I mama. Get, I, big mama I, watches I, your I, mailbox, I, my friend. I do. She knows time. what's going on. She knows what's going on. I'll write a check and I'll be like, "All right, motherfuckers, I am." Supporting this because I have read it. I don't like the legislation that's uh, trying to be passed. Mm-hmm. They got to fight it. I'm willing to give a few bucks. I like white people that's with their rights. I don't, right. don't make me my rights. We're gonna, you, white people's rights. I only like a few of them. As soon as you lose it, we're going to continue with. Uh, oh, y'all make me laugh. I only like we're a gonna, few of uh, them. We're going to continue with Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Patrice O'Neill. Lots oh, when I said Big Mom, you know what I meant? Napolitano, I know. I should have said big yeah, sis. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. Big sis. I thought he was She's the one. They call her big sis and big fucking. She's always in everyone's shit. She's just peeking around at everyone's shit. You and your porn guns and young bitches. Ah, oh, forget oh. about it. They're just waiting. All right, we'll be back. Rich Foss has joined the program with Patrice O'Neill. I nice. miss Rich. I haven't seen him in a I long time. I haven't done this we've with been, Patrice. We've been arguing uh, the Rich Voss New Year's Eve thing that happened to him. Yeah. Well, tell the people out there. What happened? Yeah. Uh, you had a gig I at get off stage, Sun, right? Yeah, I get off stage, and Bonnie's uh, going down on, on the booker in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted the money, so I'm not going to say, hey, stop. Uh, it might as well have been that. Huh? <laughs> no, that would have been exciting. You were uh, you were booked at a casino? Yeah, I was booked. And uh, and they told you at the last minute that uh, you're going to have to stay up the street. Because they the need street. the room because New Year's Eve is a very hot night. And I, we all and know. We understand so, that I, part of that. I already It was already sold out. Right. I already sold out. So you said, okay, and you you took a shitty room up the street instead of having well, a no, nice room, room in the casino. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Don't, the room wasn't shitty, but it was up the street. The yeah. shitty part was it was up that's the street. Shitty. It, that's shitty. Yeah. That's shitty. The room Cause, cause, at the casino is shitty. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah but, how can the room but not in the casino not be shitty? At least you're in the casino, yes. and you wake up, and you don't have to put a winter coat on to get in a fucking cold car to go do your gig. I, it, which, and, and if dr- it was summer, and, who cares? And drive the host. 
<laughs> and, uh, right. You've been, you've been in the business the way too long no. to deal with that shit. I would have said, guess that, what? You don't get me a room in the casino. I'm out. I do, see. I. Yeah, and certain certain would do they that yeah, but exact you know, thing. as a businessman, at certain times you can make certain calls, and certain times you can't. Dude, I, I could have. I have a feeling agent. you do this a lot, though. No, I feel. Thank you, Patrice. What? He's nodding. I feel like you compromise a lot. Yeah, right. I do compromise because I have to compromise when you're in my position. When you have. Three kids. Sometimes I say no. Fuck. Rich, say, you're a really funny guy. What's that? You're a funny guy. Oh, God, did I kill this weekend. You were booked at a casino. Mm-hmm. If you told them last minute, I'm not doing the gig unless you find me a nice fucking warm room in the casino, they're going to find you a room. Here's the difference. I sold 350 seats out. At that same casino, Chelsea Handler sold 9,000 tickets. Well, right? she, well she's so, hot. Really yeah, hot. 9,000 in the arena. She's, a major, she's, a, she's the face of an entire network. Right? I know. She's, she's extremely hot right now, and, and it doesn't hurt that she's funny. Yeah, I'm not so, going to go with the good-looking so thing because I, I don't see the that, fucking see, good-looking thing. You shouldn't qualify the respect you have for yourself with, with, with where you think you are in the business. Don't let people fucking, you know, put, put a label on you, though. I won't put a label. Listen. You didn't need that money Brad was paying you. Oh, how, wait, really? Because I know how much Brad pays. That that money can never change your life on any level. You got that. Will you quit talking like Malcolm X? That fucking <laughs> money. All right, yes, That money. <laughs> that, that money. All right. I'll stop okay. talking like right, a motherfucker, right, like right, Malcolm right. X that's trying to help you to stop this ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, Patrice okay. knows more than I, obviously. I'm not in that business. But Brad seems... Axelrod is not paying you enough to not say no to him. Right. It's, that's it. It seems ridiculous that you go, okay, I'll take a room up the street. Well, no Here's offense. I like, I like the... Brad, but he's a one-nighter guy. You're right. He's not a, it's not a relationship that should make you go... You should say fucks, man. Are you serious? I'm already taking, I'm taking blows to the gut. <laughs> yeah, Call the fight, it. nigga. It's just like stay home and Here's hug your daughter. Hug, hug her today. Wait, I, stop I, using her tuition as an. Ex- <laughs> stop what using Brad's two dollars and seventy cent gig, and then trying to pimp language by saying I'm gonna pay my daughter's well, tuition. First of all, I, that's bullshit. No, Yankee, it's not bullshit. Because yeah, you know, first of all, Yank your daughter's you, out of college too. It's a waste of time. I, I, who I, are you telling? Who you telling? I, I, I didn't go to school. Look how good things I, are going I've, for me. I've oh, changed well. my opinion on college big time in the last year. Or it's two. ridiculous. With this fucking with this fucking debt they're giving these kids. And they they're, work for the school. They're a hundred, hun, easy hundred thousand yeah. in debt without a job when they get out, they and then they're work working the at the local fucking, fucking pizza and joint. The, and the only way they're going to get work is if they know somebody or somebody it's, knows somebody. It's a crock of shit. And the way the game is now, you need a fucking degree to work for fucking Burger King. Like yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. you need something to. They're all make in you, on it. Everybody needs a job. They're all in on it. Then. You see, fuck, what's the thing? Capitalism, a love story. There yeah. was yeah. one mm-hmm. part I, I keep bumping into all the time is our pilots. Get paid jack shit. We mean, they they mean, give blood to people that that crash in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. They were they had them on the black box talking about not making money. Yeah, yeah. They were making one bitch made six thousand sixteen thousand. Yeah, I was gonna year. say they make less yeah. than twenty thousand a fly. Giving blood. Give those and fucking guys hundred thousand all day long. And they have to get a long. second job just to pay their bills. Some tired motherfucker got me up thirty five thousand feet. Right. It's it's insane, man, what they doing to people. Uh, so uh, the only thing you got left really is to stay home and enjoy the shit that's gonna be taken from you soon. We're staying. You got a nice TV at home? I got a good TV. I, 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 fire place. Need. I found a place to get firewood. All right, that's all you need. Tons fire. Of firewood. You need a fireplace uh, and a nice TV. You're set. Uh, and, and, and yank your fucking daughters out of college. We stayed last night. And I, Can you please I, I, not chew and, and uh, talk at the same time? We stayed last night. I know we all did. At it, a hotel. For some reason, when you do it, it's really fucking Because <laughs> it's, exactly. it's already a problem awful. when his mouth is completely clear. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Patrice. Of debris, nigga. Just finish. <laughs> hey, stop looking me up and down. Just fucking. <laughs> just stop it. Doing a while. Just stop doing. looking me up and down. I didn't see you are. Patrice looks I like an old school one. burglar today or something. I you like got some tools in your back pocket? Yeah. I was like a cross <laughs> on 110th Street. Right. I'm in a worse spot than Voss, but I ain't going to take that gig from Brad. No. You know, I'm in a worse spot I'll than Brad. I'll you up, nigga. Right. I'm robbing a car. <laughs> <laughs> There's banks up the street. Fuck it. Three meals a day. I'll take that. What, what were you saying, Rich? I'm sorry. We're staying in a hotel. It's so clear. Now, I... 
sometimes you don't know who to tip and where to tip. The oh, dude boy. comes to my room. It's crazy. He comes to my room, knocks on the door t- to tell me well, he's my butler. Okay. Wow, right? you're do I nice t- joint. Do I tip him for telling me he's yeah. my butler? Uh, yeah, you throw him money, especially if you're going to use him for something. Well, don't you do that at the end when you're checking out? No, no, no. Because well, it's different you want, people. Here's what it is. If you want good service, you tip him at the beginning. If you want shitty service, then you tip him at the end. But when I use him, what would he to do my? Well, I don't, that's just it. Then, then you yeah. know, what do you give your butler when you, you go to throw him a few? Huh? Right away. Right away, I peel off a hundred the second he walks in the room. Now is he is he blowing you the whole time you're there for a hundred dollar tip? Uh, he knows he's getting more. Like, cause then every time he brings something, you throw him a little more extra. Well, you gave a you gave a hundred right? just to walk See, in the door, just out to just just, boom. just to be like hi. Well, cause you're, you're a high roller here. Right, but that's yeah. casino stuff though. What's yeah. that? That's casino stuff. That's the casino. Guy. Isn't that what he's talking about? No, no. I, I think he, New York. I think Rich is just talking basic shit. At? What butler? I've never been to a hotel in New York with a butler. Well, you haven't been to the one we're staying at. It's oh, a shit. <laughs> huh? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this hotel. Why do you have such a nice hotel? We usually were, are on we the cheap. A, we did a benefit, and and they set you up with a nice no, hotel? Not only that, we did a portrait, which Bonnie and the, Bonnie, what? it's like a $6,000 package. You do this portrait in the studio downstairs, and, you know, and me, Bonnie, and the baby are doing this port, and it's something we would never do. You know, right. then they want to come to your house and look at what wall to put it on and what colors what and all that. You, you oh, know, Jesus. look at this. What's going on? It's, 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 wait, 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 is sorry. it a painting? I don't even know what yes. the fuck is going on. How do you follow you following this? They're painting. I got it. Hold on, hold on. They're painting. Can you paint- explain to me? I got I'm it. He's at a really nice hotel because he did a benefit, and part of the package is they do a portrait. So him, Bonnie, and his uh, little girl are getting painted? No, they take the picture and they like paint Scarface? over it. And then and they make it look over. like a paint. Like, yeah, like, like, a, a, like a paint. Oh, it's a fucking... And then you're going to... It's a $5,000. you got to see this thing. And then you're going to hang it no. in your house somewhere? Yeah, but they want to come to your do. house... What they do it's is they tracing take, paper. No, they no, take the picture, right. yeah, and then they digitally fucking Photoshop it to look like a painting. No, no, you got to see it. It's I'm done not, in two seconds. Have they pull and out some they paint? Pull it out of a listen, giant printer. In, it, listen, in your fucking Guido, Guido Villa at home on Long Island, Island. <laughs> that's what you My might have. Guido you know? Villa. I would have to say. <laughs> I would have to say, <laughs> spectacular home. There's only one Guido thing in his house. What, the statue without the arms? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's pretty, I like that because I, I, I feel it one. might be real. <laughs> if it had arms and it was peeing, I, that yeah. would bother me. Fucking <laughs> rich. You, you have a black, shiny table in there that, uh, that I would get rid of. But a is black, that's the only shiny green, table. Like a, uh, like a Formica. That. Really? Where is that? In the dining room when you walk into the right. It's like a. He doesn't even know what he has in this house. It's for Micah. Yeah. Oh, the one in the dining room. Yeah, you probably never see it. In the dining room? Yes. Yeah. Is that for Micah? Wait, wait. Is, is it right when you walk in the front room? To the to right. right. To the right. Yeah, that's supposed to be something for, you know, we keep in the dining room for dishes. What do they call that thing? <laughs> Why are they? Uh, I don't for have dishes. dishes. <laughs> it's called... <laughs> Fill up the space with yeah. stuff. How many times a year does Danny make you dinner? That you need dishes. <laughs> you got hey, Danny you got, makes a good fucking beer can chicken. Wait, you got the you got the fancy plates? No, it's in just a wall a, unit. It's that thing that goes Fuck in that there. Fuck that China shit. And and you put the fucking china in it. It's called a hutch. I was looking a for hutch every, with I, was china. Looking, I was looking for everything I could to hate about your house. Um, I was so jealous, but it's just a nice. It's really nice. Yeah, I, I I I love it. It's one of those things where it's yeah. like ah, you have nobody. Other. I'm gonna start coming over. But, but, so you should come on over. Well, they're but rich, property value. Rich, <laughs> why was the portrait? Why? Pa- that was racist, wasn't it? Yeah, but exactly. solely. Rich, why was the portrait part of the package? I still don't get that part of it. Because they don't pay you, so they have somebody <laughs> digitally put you on a piece of paper. To that make was the thing. The, when you spend Expensive. for this portrait, they're five to ten. Why would you do that? When well, no one needs a portrait, and no one buys house. that. Por- who buys that except for fucking rich people that have the, like big so holes? The Slippingtons. You- <laughs> yeah, <you're right. laughs> fucking. I know no that. one buys those. Why are you, why are you Jew being- and his fucking white trans Canadian uh, wife? You're being shady. Why are you? Why did you? Why are you part of this package deal? 
when we did the benefit in in Miami for the blind, we did a benefit at the Rich Carlton down there. Right, should have done one for the Jeff. I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's on fire now. Yeah. Oh, it's Monday kinda, morning, he got yeah. some rest this weekend. Kinda so funny. when did you do it? Kind of funny, Rich. We did the fuck. Uh, we did the benefit. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, and then you know we bid on the uh, we bid on the on the you know the state of the Regis and stuff and. You know, we yeah, uh, you're up to some shady shit. What's going on? Yeah, he, the, I don't even know what's going on. There's some I shady know. shit. Going. Well, Rich is always wheeling and dealing. And you're wheeling and dealing. He what has the, to stop. Listen, something's going on. You, Rich, if you don't make it, it's discouraging mean, to if. me. Like I, I need Rich to make it to let me know that I can. Like that there's a chance. I don't want to see this 57 year old man still trying to be like relevant the same That's way he was 20 years ago. He comes in with these hats, and he comes in dressed like, like he's getting ready to punch raw meat, like he's training for something, and he's he's just he makes me sick with this with this scamming. I can't not do a Brad Axelrod attitude. Like, hey, you don't know what it's like. I do know what the fuck is like. No, you don't. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, you got it easy, man. Again, why? Uh, why? You have a, a, a beautiful girl. You don't have responsibility. She's working, right? Is your girlfriend working? Yeah. All right. Mine isn't. Uh, why she's is working it, on why a movie. Why isn't fucking Bonnie working? She's working on a movie, editing. And Rich, nonstop. why aren't you saying your wife's beautiful? She's very beautiful. Well, you she said uh, Patrice has a beautiful woman. Yeah, but he, he has, has a beautiful woman. Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, that is and the... Bonnie can make money anytime yeah, she Bonnie, wants. She has more credits than Rich. <laughs> she does. Like, better credits. She has a fucking special <laughs> on got, HBO. Got... And fuck... You don't have V1. Uh, what do you mean? HBO's oh, V HBO? special. Uh, right in now, your opinion. Right now, an hour Comedy Central specials are the special. They hand those out. mailman has a special. Specials aren't special anymore. Yes, they are. If it's on HBO, it is. That's his point. On Comedy Central, they hand those shit out. I did HBO. I did it way before any of you guys. Yeah, you did it the first white guy, but it was a seven-second spot. Bonnie did a special. She has more credit. All right, so she has a So why don't you fucking stay home? I would love to. And work and edit and let her work. She can make more money. She's probably famous in Canada. Let her fucking go there for three months and goddamn... Work. Bonnie isn't famous on her farm, okay? <laughs> and no one... I can see what he did. He yeah. fucking... It's he funny, cannot though. stand... It's funny, though. And I probably would do the no. same thing. If no, my girl was a comic and had better credentials, yeah, I yeah. would probably try to poison her mind and think she yeah. should quit. What are you kidding me? I would fill her full of hot fucking... He's got to put my down credit. Hot ca- career, career and then right. love juice, plug her full of hot lead, walk around ah, with a kid, ah, get ah, tired, ah. and then fucking... <laughs> Take Brad Axelrod fucking meetings to to I, hey, I get Bob. what he did I get uh, what he did. If you see the uh, what she's doing with, this, she make, with and, this movie and convince it's, her she's, that yeah. five thousand dollars shitty paintings are fucking it's something. great. What you think that we're hanging that up? We're not, yes, we're you not, are. I Rich. guarantee we don't hang it up. I'm gonna tell you, you why you're gonna happen? hang it up, huh? Exactly because you For told when the we story. Get a bigger place, when we get a bigger, nicer place, you don't hang it up in a townhouse. How are you gonna you get just, a bigger, nicer place? What's the plan? What's the plan? We're making a movie right now that I got $33,000 into already, okay? That's the plan. You, know, right? you really <laughs> shouldn't spread. You, you shouldn't say that you got $33,000. You're right. It's and about You should just say I got a movie <laughs> and, 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 in the world. I'm going to take all and you don't need a have portrait to What's help it? Rich. Yeah. Anything I have, I'm helping Rich. Fuck, fuck it. I'm you done have, with you my You don't career. even call me back. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> I don't want to be sadder than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. I'm going to play will golf you, in a couple weeks. Oh, and I just will you like, stop with I'm the not, fucking I'm, life is a... What stop you trying to whole, see the best in life. You You're not a glasses half full guy, asshole. I am, I I've known you for years. I am not. <laughs> stop trying to make deals with God because you see it all falling <laughs> to pieces. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I have my health, I think. I haven't had an MRI in a while. <laughs> I think. That sounds good, actually. That's a great way to go through life. Uh, you know, I'm with you. What else are you I think I'm healthy. Do? You know, you know this business. There's ups, there's downs, there's good time. You know, you know the deal. There was a time me and Patrice were walking down the street, and I looked at him. I go, I have not absolutely anything going on in my career, and he he says, me too. Do you remember how? And then two years later, we're both doing great. Now, okay, things have fallen a little. They go up and down. You know, it's the it's the stock market. Listen, That's what our I'm careers saying. aren't parallel. I'm just trying to make <laughs> you feel really better. China. No, they're not. Throw you two in the same boat. How, what, you don't Ross think, is on drugs. Uh, <laughs> you see his you, eyes. You don't. Ross listen. is on fucking methamphetamines. <laughs> Ross has a drug problem, and that's why he's fucking working so fucking if hard. I had a, really, if I had a drug problem, do you really think I'd be wearing this? 
This that's your been last sold. thing you're going to sell. Really? No. <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to sell. <laughs> his ass. His fucking ass. Fucking rich. Fucking rich. <laughs> nah, All right, I don't know. He's up to some shady shit. That's He's up to something. Voss is up to something. <laughs> I, I, I've known him long enough to know he loves to wheel and deal. He's like Al Pacino in a... And uh, 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 Johnny Donny Brasco. Oh, Donny Brasco. He's just he's never he's just up to something all the he's, time. He's the all king of bartering. He knows how to barter anywhere. this motherfucker. God, he's up to something. <laughs> you trade services for all sorts of weird shit. It's fun, man. A portrait, though. Ugh. I I know. Hey, listen, you? we wanted just the room. We didn't want the portrait. portrait. That has to look so gaudy. Oh, just, just like maybe a nice picture yeah. of the family. I understand that, but when it gets to a portrait, he probably picks uh, a bad frame. A classic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they want to come sell me a frame. I can get a frame on oh, Craigslist, man. They're going to come. They want to sell me the frame. You know, that's going to be a thousand dollars. What are you kidding me? Nice frame, huh? I get a frame. I get frames why everywhere, are you man. Getting you go to a garage, thousand get a dollar frame. frame. I, did you hear what he said? What? Yeah. What did you just doing? hear? Did you hear what he just said? Get one at a garage. You can go zone. to a garage. Like yeah. th this get is a frame. It's the. Point. I wouldn't even know how to go to a garage. And you know what? It's, <laughs> he does though. It's too well, late. Obviously, not by what you're wearing. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm wearing, Rich. No, we're on radio. It's too late. <laughs> Thank it's you. Too fucking late for him to change too. Like if what if if somebody cuffed him, like you know, if somebody just. Said, "Fuck it, I'm I'm here." And one of these guys, like you know, like Louis or or, or Colin, says, "Fuck it, I'm cuffing Rich." It, they won't be able to uplift him. Like Rich is what he is. He's man. just as no. He's not. No gonna, he's not going to take class pointers. Like he's not going to do it. It's the proverbial old dog. He's going to go to a fucking a garage porch. sale. <laughs> So he's gonna buy that oh, oh. shitty BMW. He yeah, said, yeah. That he well, tried to pass off no. as, as sexy, he, and I'm just like, this shit is. He said, he said Porsche. Now explain the Porsche you got. Well, I got a, a Porsche Boxster. What are you I talking about? What year? He has. Well, I bought it two. It was two years old when I bought it. You know what he has? What kind of Porsche he has? And I mean, this is my nigga. I love Walls. Yeah. <laughs> he has the. The highest level Toyota <laughs> yeah. Porsche. So it's the right, lowest right, right. level Porsche. Listen, the lowest level or Porsche. the highest level Toyota. Right. That's the Get same the car. the highest level Toyota. Right. Why for, are you getting this shitty for, Porsche? It's not, are you crazy? That you can't even drive your friends in. It's a selfish car. That's why I got it. You're not a fan of the selfish car. It's a selfish car. I got a truck. If you're in trouble, man, Patrice, come get us. Right. Get Me the whole and my family. whole family are stuck. Right. Voss, come help. Yeah, I can't. An SUV my too? shitty. Selfish car. You have a selfish SUV, you. man. <laughs> I, have my, I know what kind of car you got, man. I got an SUV. It's a selfish. BMW. I love the concept of the selfish car. It's just, I love it, man. It's just a car that's not, he's not, he's not, you don't have well, you any don't friends. Think, you don't think if I got tons of money, I wouldn't go out and blow it and buy shit? Of course I would. I What little money I do get, I go out and buy dumb shit. I would get, if I had money, I'd get the nicer Porsche, okay? But you know what? I could only have gotten that one at the time, okay? Voss <laughs> likes having things. Yeah, damn, you're right. We don't like having things, but you like having things. Yeah, it's just You fun. go a little too far with having things. I know. I got... Like, like he knows. He's bullshit. You could go buy a pair of sneakers, and that fills the emptiness right here, okay? He he goes out and buys shit because he's lonely and depressed, all right? All right? These sneakers, I didn't need them, but they're pro kids. They're, you know, and it was 29 bucks on some <laughs> website, and when it's I always, bought them... It's always it's, from a website. Always, you got to go to this like, new website. It's called... <laughs> everything's on sale, like high-end shit. It's okay? always a website. So you buy something... You feel good for a few moments, and then you realize. Let me see your pro cats. Oh, these are—they're leather. These ones are leather. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Yes, I did at the moment when I bought I, it. I understand that. Okay, it's... I got. You know, you might have a set of golf clubs. I have three because I like to sit online and buy shit. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, right. Buying shit is fun. It's fun. And then when it comes to your house, you're all like, Wait. oh. Yeah, you know you got a package yeah, coming. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Open that yeah, thing up and you're you've like, never, You've never been to Rich Voss's <laughs> house. He's, he's got weird shit in his house. I've heard his house is like a museum. <laughs> yeah. And I think you like those like home old furniture <laughs> and shit. So is my act. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, do you, uh, you watch the home shopping shows on TV? Does that get you off a little bit? What do you mean? The ones where they <laughs> fix stuff up? No, like they're selling. This. No, not not that shit. That's that's bullshit. All that's right. all fake. So you're not that far in. No, I wouldn't buy that shit. I just like going online and you know, like what the fuck? 
you know, I got on my credit card, I have enough points to get something. I just don't know what I'm going to get when I'm going to get it, but I know I'm getting something. I don't even know how many points I got. I do. I know how many I got. I'm going on 26,000 points, and that's a new putter. I don't need a new putter. How do we find out how many points we got? 26,000. I'll I'll find out right now. How many points you have? I think I have like half a million points on each card. How do you do it? I'll I'll do it right now. I don't. You got to go to your. uh, Yeah, you got to go to your Amex online thing. I don't know how to do that. Well, yes, because you got that kind of money. You have See, people. I've had a American Express card for what does it say? Member since '01. All right, so ten oh, years. You, I've never used any. I don't points. know if they I had no points idea. back then, did they? You probably got a lot of points. No clue. I don't know. I don't How even know where you look do for you the ever points. Use that thing. You have the cleanest asshole. It looks like it hasn't been through one they, machine. Asshole, they get, give you a new one every once in a while. This one just came in. Oh, it did? Yes, I fucking use my credit card. Oh, look Believe me, I'm using mine. my credit Did that hurt you opening your wallet just now? <laughs> wow, a joke from seven years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a callback. <laughs> 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 right, I, use, I, I use, spend a little more now. Are you a frugal gentleman? Though? Not as not as bad as I used to be, but uh, yeah, certainly I I've been caught being pretty frugal over the years. <laughs> caught, caught being not his frugal. wedding though. Yeah, that there wedding, you go. That was some real shit. Right. The, your band at your wedding cost more than my house. <laughs> you really did have a fucking Ben Stiller movie wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. His, his cocktail party was just ridiculous. I well, thought that was the whole wedding. Well, that was – it was all fun until we got dropped from all those markets as I was planning that. And then I had to go to the wedding planner and say, slow the fuck down. It got scary. Wedding um, planner? We had Bonnie's aunt. <laughs> put, us, put us in a hotel with a buffalo. Always, <laughs> always. I feel so bad for my friend, Rich. I just feel bad. He's, he's, Why? I'm smiling, man. I feel bad. It's a for fake all smile, Rich. We all I feel know bad that. for our whole crew. <laughs> the whole crew. A whole crew. The whole bunch of you. A whole bunch. A whole right. bunch. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we break Let's and take a break. get into some shit? Let's take a long you, you watch break. Uh, football, football over the weekend, Rich? Break. Some of it. Yeah, a little. <laughs> you, you see I, any movies lately? Yeah. We'll do some movies and we'll do some sports oh, now. So I'll break. tell you my best I movie. I love tweet on that. What? No, what? after the break, you'll tell oh, us okay. your favorite I can movie. Tease. This is called a teaser. All right, what is the tease? Uh, fucking Winner's Bone. I just gave away the movie. That's not a tease. Oh, I was going to tell him how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, The Opie and Anthony Show. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. On the virus. On the virus. Serious XM. Now we're talking to Patrice O'Neill, Rich Voss. <laughs> Where's Rich going to be? Because Patrice has retired officially. He's so lucky. But Rich is still on the road. Where are you going to be, Rich? This weekend, catch a rising star? Yeah, Providence. Providence, Rhode Island, all right. Yeah. And, and then uh, next week yeah, in Harrisburg at the Comedy Zone. The Comedy Zone. The comedy Zone. You guys Harrisburg. Watch, you guys watch the football? Yeah. How- I enjoy it. Patrice is a big uh, Pats fan, right? Uh, yes. <sighs> I am a Patriots fan. My Jets squeaked one out. They over the certainly Colts. did. They, sc- they certainly did. I would love to be an uh, Uber Jets fan here, but I'm uh, certainly worried, obviously, going I mean, up to Foxborough. You know, they're going to lose to the to the great uh, Patriots mm. and Tom Brady's fabulousness, and they're going to fucking beat the Jets. I mean, I don't want to argue with you about it. Not you, bad. but the Jets fans. It's just going to happen. Well, I'm a little worried. We'll see what happens. They're just better. Bill Belichick's just better than Rex Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's an asshole. I was reading somewhere. <laughs> Belichick's just an asshole. And I think asshole. I, I think half his team hates him, too. Well. I get of, that feeling like no one likes this guy, even his of, own players. One of the guys said, uh, they asked no him idea, a question like, so how do you, how you, how you going to, how you feel about, you know, right. this player? He goes. Feel. He, I don't know. He said, he said, Belichick didn't tell me what to feel yet for these days. Yeah. That's just like, that's how he got it. Do you guys bet on, you don't bet at all on the game? I mean. I probably should. I I, I enjoy a little uh, little sports bet every once in a while, but I haven't done it in so many years. You put on a Jets uh, shirt on Sunday. No, no, Are you I'm one not. of those kind of guys? If you want me to say yes, so you can beat me up. Fine, no, no, I'm not trying. I'm not I, about no, that. I've never been like Jersey guy. Yeah, yeah never. Like, Patriots have been dropping 45 points. On I right understand now. that. What are they going to do? And Sanchez, has, stop these and Sanchez <laughs> has a shoulder that might be a little fucking sore these right now. These amazing little white guys. that just, <laughs> The Patriots have found a way to go back to the early 30s <laughs> old football. Old school. Strap it on leather helmets. Yeah. <laughs> five foot, ten inch <laughs> they all look like white boys who United. fucking run. <laughs> and they, they got one of the, one of the Jets throwaways uh, is on that team. And he's a fucking animal. 
Yeah. He, they have a, a guy that they got rid of before they got Randy Moss, and he's back to, like, he's a, a number one receiver. And they got these two little white slot receivers, and they got two young tight ends, and Brady just finds them, and they catch the ball. Mm. That's it. I guess that's all you need. <laughs> they are so basic. And yeah. it's, it's despicably basic. And the Saints are out already. They lose to the seven and nine Seahawks. How are you? How are you allowed to be in the playoffs when you're a, a sub five hundred team? Hey, I don't man, get that's that. That's the motherfucking rules. And this guy, do you Marshawn, agree with that? Marshawn Lynch, right? Had the greatest run I ever seen in a playoff game. I never seen a run like that. The sixty-seven that yarder was it? Brutal. That, I never even seen yeah, no shit ridiculous. like that. I'm telling you, the the stiff arm he gave that guy, he threw him into the end zone. He threw that guy away. It was un fucking believable. Mm-hmm. But they, hey, the Saints had their run. They, this is the thing, people. And this, I'd say this to Patriots fans: Don't forget you stunk. <laughs> How bad the Patriots stunk. For a long for time. their entire – I mean, we had John Hanna, who was one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever played. He never won a fucking thing, but he's a beast. And and, and, and Steve Grogan, it was some great – Mosey Tatupu, some great players. But the Patriots stunk, went to a Super Bowl in 85 and got destroyed huh. by the greatest football team I've ever seen in my lifetime, Ooh. which was the Bears. The Bears. The fucking 85 Bears was the greatest football team I've ever seen in my life. No one's better. You don't know this, Rich. 85 is a big year for the Bears. Holy the shit. The Super Bowl shuffle. That came uh, out of yeah. uh, right? They were so good. You with forget the that they were with like the fridge and Jimmy McMahon. Five years later. I, yeah. And then they. We you went do to know a Super you Bowl lost a lot of money on that game? <laughs> I don't remember. I, <laughs> we went to a Super Bowl in 96. When, uh, when when Tuna, and God bless Tuna, because I think that's when the Patriots started becoming something. A something, because he said, first of all, let's get rid of this stupid uh, little man. I had the on little the side man the on the helmet. It was so stupid. And then he, he put the little sleek thing, and they went to the Super Bowl in 96, lost to the Green Bay Packers, and then. And then somehow, and then Drew, the next year he was gone. He was that was the year he was negotiating as as he's getting ready for the Super Bowl, right? His next contract with uh, what well, because he he didn't want he want he said he only wanted to. That's when he said, "I don't want to. Um, if you're gonna let me run the store, you should let me buy the groceries, whatever right, the fuck. Right. Cook he, the meal and buy the groceries." But he was pissed off going into a Super Bowl, which certainly didn't help. Yeah, because the morale about, of the team. He, he doesn't. He wanted to run the show. He's he was tired. But of how his, about you win the Super Bowl? Because that's pretty impressive. And then we're not here to win shit. Super Bowls. He won his two. He's here to fix funky shit. That's what he wanted. That's what he was there to do for Dallas. Right. It was he was there for for the Jets. Right. And what he's there for for Miami now. And he's going to leave them. He's there to make you not suck and then, and then scram. Who are you talking about? Uh, Bill, Bill Parcells. Yeah, but if you're uh, – oh, whatever. It's old but news. You know what? The fucking Patriots, they really played fucking these people in Connecticut when they said, yeah, maybe we'll move down to Connecticut just so they could do a power move and get a, their new fucking stadium. And everybody in Connecticut's all happy. They think they're getting a real team since the Whalers left. That's all I know in sports. <laughs> That's terrific, Rich. Um, did you – Did you? Uh, that was pretty good. If Patrice would have said that, you would have agreed. You would have said. You would have said that. I would have said that actually, though. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I know because you're like a fucking high school teaser. You don't know shit. <laughs> I know a lot. <laughs> Here we go let's again. talk about golf. Like let's, golf, golf. Let's talk about golf. And please don't make fun of my speech. You don't have the right. <laughs> you haven't earned well, any. You don't right. have the right to smile. What, what, the, what the fuck? I got nice for you. you? Don't fucking, you know what, you know what, this was the problem with you fucking guys. You'll take Uh, anybody's side against me, okay? Never. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Uh Voss, before you become a victim. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a Jew. I've always been a victim. You you felt. You kind of make it easy. You felt left out of this conversation. I I understand. Anthony does, too, because he's not really interested. No. But guess what he did? He's just going to wait. Until he has something to add. Well, you, you, well, you know what you added? Nothing. <laughs> you and OP were talking about it. Maybe I was doing But there's some job. people that re- that know football that go, oh, shit, it's football time. Let me listen. I know I know and baseball. Go, this is football time for some people out there. Then right? you go, fucking, you say some ridiculous Connecticut thing. Yeah. To just try to blow a hole in the shit so you can get back in. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, listen. Just stop. You're not a victim. Give us five more minutes and we'll go back yeah, to garage like, sales or see? something. <laughs> 
We'll talk about the like antique roadshow for he you. Turned this <laughs> you into, fucking old fuck. He turned us into poor Voss. Right. We so poor. And I don't. But here's what pe- you know. And I don't even know. He wasn't enough air Motherfuckers time. like Voss. Here's what bugs no, me. No, I don't care about air time. <laughs> here's what bugs me air about Voss. There's people, time. and there's people in my life who just they have no like just small worldliness about everything. Yeah. Like a little bit of knowledge about everything. And if you don't have that knowledge. You say you ask some questions and, to right, make right. it Rich, ask fucking, a question. huh? like that you're interested in things you don't know. Right. Ask a question instead Rich. of destroying shit. Ask a question about what? What do you want Sports me to Sports in general. And trust me, I don't know shit. I mean, I'll be the first to tell you I don't listen, even know. What's your I don't even what? know much. Who cares? I, I mean, never knew about, about hockey. It, right? I, I never knew about hockey. And it's ridiculous. And then you ask a question. To make it make like, sense, oh, okay? Because why well, would you go through doing... life and di- okay, something what? as important as football, right? I That's know important. A little bit about no. golf, enough that if somebody who knows a lot, like I go, I go, hey man, that's very. T- What's the I- FedEx Cup? That's a dumb question. Uh, that's no, like no, trivia. That's, tri- that's, that's, that's not not trivia. That's a trivia. That's the biggest thing in golf right what's, now. What's the, that's the biggest thing in what's golf. What's the Lay's potato chip bowl in football? Like, that's a stupid question. That's yeah. Notre Dame How and many, Auburn. No, no, it is. I'm saying. <laughs> you just scared the, the shit basics, out of me. The basics of golf, I don't play it, but the basics, I can fucking, I can go, well, okay, so, I get it. Yeah, it's like saying, like, what's a, what, wait, what's wait, a birdie thinking, they're talking about? Yeah, a birdie. I know that. Like, yeah, he knows that. But that's a question, like, somebody that doesn't know. Would ask. Well, 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 well like, stop, stop, you know. stop. Patrice is right that I just jumped in with, with just to get in. Okay, he's right about that. I, 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 but what I did say is a known validation. Th- this is, no, it, no, it, no, 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 no. It is a known don't fact that, that, that I mean, even, no, we're talking. You know, you know what? This is where you're wrong. You were talking about what a what a Rich. fuck what Belichick is. But I was saying how the organization fucked Connecticut. So that uh, was relevant to the conversation. I will. No, I, will yes. I will have to defend Rich on this point. Unfortunately, see, I am coming to your okay, side. Thank because the FedEx is a big deal now in golf. Okay, no, let's get back. It's to not the, like one what's tournament. The, what's the fucking? What's the? What's the? It's what's just the Masters. Like if that's it, well, for the, a person who don't know well, golf, Masters, it's a silly yeah, question. That, that it's uh, arbitrary. I'm talking about yeah. the but, game of golf. That everyone plays and not just fe- it's, it's oh, so. What do you want to ask? There are rules. Well, the Masters is is a big question too because there's only four majors, so yeah. that's kind of a big deal that's, too. That's trivia for. We're not talking trivia. We're talking about basic. Yeah, like hey, what sports happens knowledge? if your ball lands basic on the cart interest. path? Huh? Like, what basic happens if your interest. ball is on the cart path? What do you do? You, you move. You move it to point of entry. No closer to the hole. Uh, and do you, and no, you don't no. lose a stroke? If you're Rich Voss, you kick it forward 50 Are you yards. Really, and ah, and ah, make believe that's me, where your ball was the whole me, fucking time. Really, you've cheater. ever seen me you cheat in golf? Cheater. Yeah, I'm a cheater. Please. Do you I beat you, 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 you and your father-in-law so bad, you guys drove home in tears. No. Shut up. Oh, oh, shit. Close. Ah, ah, he wants a rematch. Please. Shit. He wants a rematch, This is some old personal shit. And now I might have to apologize to Rich. Okay. This could be vengeance because of what he did to your family. Really? Richard. People from Philly have a lot of pride really? for some reason. <laughs> he was bragging about, oh, my father-in-law, he my fucking, father-in-law. He gave you a good run. He gave me a good run, really? You know he what? gave and you a good you run. You know what? A lot of, a lot of second-place teams give the first-place uh, team a good run. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have a rematch the guy, in the spring, sir. Nobody remembers the, the guy rematch. in second place, all right? The Let's, spring hell. Want to well, talk about lost balls then? Huh? Lost balls? What about lost balls? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is. This is. All right. I have to say sorry, Rich. I have to apologize. We all Fucking, know Opie to have vengeance in his heart. Fucking uh, Rich starts the round. He hates Rich from that whooping. Oh, yeah. And, and Rich probably talks shit to the family. Uh, absolutely. He nah, dismissed the family. In all fairness, it's fine. It was a, it was a great oh, day. And, uh, and we're going to have a rematch. But what I want to say about Rich is he'll start a hole with a brand new shiny golf ball, and he's putting with something that looks like it has tumors First by the ball, end of the fucking hole crazy? because I, he happens to shank one in the woods and find it's a 20 fucking minutes later. So you're, he's saying that <laughs> you shake it in the woods and somehow find you another found ball. a brand new shiny ball. No, no, no he starts with a shiny ball. That's the key. Oh. And by the time he's putting, the thing can't even roll right because it's it's listen. been in the woods for 10 years. I don't hear no words. Let me explain <laughs> something to you. you know, okay, let me. I, I mean, in the woods. And first of all, of course, we played, there was no woods because we played a Lynx style I'm, course. I'm not even talking about the time you played my father in law. Okay, when we played. I'm Beth talking about Pay. the time where you broke okay. my fucking Do hand. You and I, let me and, ask you because I'm not. Wow. check you I'm for kicks, you this, fucking asshole. But here's what interests me I believe you to be 
What? A cheater. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine. I bet you. <laughs> no, I guarantee you. I bet you Voss has cheated in golf. No, no, no. It's I, one of those how about when you play by yourself? You've never cheated no, when you play no by re- yourself. No, there's no reason to. If I, if He's I, a mogul guy. On a par six, first of all. Oh, there's there's a mulligan, par mulligan. six. <laughs> a par, <laughs> par five? No, is there a par five? At you. Par five is the biggest you can go? Yeah. yeah. Some, par some, five? Some retarded courses have There's one that had a par six. You don't even acknowledge it. Because in no tournament, there's no par six. I'm not talking about tournaments. I'm talking about par six. Okay, there's no par six. A par six is extremely rare and, and it's ridiculous. difficult, right? I can't imagine somebody of Voss's physical stature not cheating on a par five course. Really? Why the, he's by physical. himself? Well, first because his first hit is only going to be a hundred yards. Right, first maybe. Are you, <laughs> but you know what's so funny? He, I would love to go with Patrice, he, but I can't. <laughs> Voss, I can't. I can't imagine Voss could hit it. Listen, Hit it more than 100, 115 yards. That's first that, of all. That first 100 of all, that's what? 15. 115 He can yards. almost do that with a wedge. <laughs> I, 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 Why? He's really good? <laughs> Voss can hit the fucking ball for is his Voss size. Is Voss really good? For his size. Voss is actually a really good golfer. Here's the thing. Here's the, he's a lot of these girls play golf. He doesn't golf? have fun doing it, but he's good at it. Why? I quit biting my arm. These girls, they're this big. These little Asian girls, they hit the ball 250 yards. It has nothing to do with size. Hit? It depends what club. and what You know? Yeah, if the wind's at my back. All right, then you got the power of a little Chinese girl, then. <laughs> Damn, you <laughs> fucking stand. I got the you, right, suck. Right. you suck. Let's get back. <laughs> let's get back to football. <laughs> Trace, did you hear the announcers in the the Saint Seahawks game with no. the guy with the lisp? Mm-mm. Should have told the guys ahead of time to get the fucking audio. The guy had a lisp no. the entire game. Well, but but if, you didn't, if you didn't see it, then it, uh, this is meaningless. But a lot of no. people picked up on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was he. He was must have been the announcer for Seattle. I believe he was, and they gave him the you know the shot at prime time, and he has a list. What was his last name? Voss. Oh, oh. A little self-deprecating humor. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the Eagles game? Uh, yeah, I did. But I knew Vic isn't as good as he thinks. Let me tell you something, man. Vic, I've st- noticed that the last few weeks. I'll tell you what happened to Mike Vic. Yeah, he started getting comfortable that white people like him again. Yeah, he wanted that dog. He said he wanted a dog, and everybody started listen, get, remembering. You can. I told. I told you. I don't know. I think I told somebody. I I, I might have been on this show. Yeah, I think it was. It was the interview. I, I could see say. the interview. It was when he scored. See, when he first came back, he would score a touchdown, and then hand the fucking ball to the ref. He did like. Yeah, yeah. Good Negro shit. He'll no take, fucking he, dance. No dancing. No yep. celebrating. Here you go. No fucking talking shit. Mm. And then it's after that Monday night game, when white people liked him again, he you could see the swag come back, <laughs> and you could see him start to feel yeah like like yeah, I think I can start good. doing some some black shit and and be cool with it. And he stopped this. See why they was jerking him off is because he had. Here's what they turned him in. See what they would rather have in the NFL is Tom. They don't want a nigga who can run and throw. <laughs> they want a white boy who can throw and run. You feel me? <laughs> they want fucking Tom Brady to be able to run. That's their dream. So Michael Vick was doing it that way for a second. He was thinking throw. Look at how he keeps his feet up and how he, oh, my God. And then he runs if he just has to. They don't like these scrambling niggas. They want, they want, and he became a scrambling nigga again. Just start running. Yeah. And they don't like it. They don't. They do not like it. And that, and that's what he became again. He stopped, he stopped being like this pocket passer. That Who they doesn't like it? The Who white world? Like, yeah. Because wow. it's something they can't do. <laughs> they they love Steve Young. Steve Young is a Hall of Famer. Steve Young used to run all the time. His best highlights are this fucking asshole running. <laughs> yeah. But it's like they Fran fucking Tarkenton never ran. That's all he did was scramble. Yeah, he was scrambled. Yeah. He was a scrambler. Yeah, that's why he's the top. Running. That's why he can't fucking walk. He was a scrambler, and I'm not saying that's bad. Show but as soon as you get fucking Michael Vick or or or, or Vince Young, and and then Donovan McNabb, this is why they never like Donovan, because then you get these black quarterbacks who can run, but then the the the, the white announcers is like, oh, he's a scrambler. He gets hurt, busts his knee, and he stopped running. And it's almost like he enjoyed it so that he can prove that he can be smart like a white quarterback. Like, 
If, if you can run, fucking run. Not just run. using brute strength to run. Look, he's... look at I'm not just a gorilla <laughs> throwing trees. I'm a I'm a runner. I'm a, <laughs> I can think. Like it's that's more mad. That's more shit with white people in your head. Like use your skills and do the right thing. Yeah. But he went back to scrambling and went back to bad mechanics because he was good. He was getting good. The, a perfect weapon will be Tom Brady, who can fucking run. Or Peyton Manning, who's not a statue, and he mm. could just he could just run if shit gets fucked up. That's some dangerous ass shit. But Michael Vick won't. He could th- he could throw a fucking football out, Vick. He's a beast. He just doesn't have the, the <laughs> greatest aim. He can't like the me- his mechanics are can horrible. But question? how he throws the fucking football is insane. But Voss has a question. Can I ask you? Yes. Right. Okay. Oh, now, of course, you want a quarterback that can scramble and run, like you said, Tarkenton. <laughs> yes. Okay. But Tarkenton. like like whatever Fran Fran uh, Tarkenton <laughs> actually t- Tarkenton whatever the yeah, whatever. I don't know it was back uh, in the day who cares matter. it's only a name <laughs> the halfback is is the I'm just laughing at how difficult this show is it's just <laughs> it's just there's an attack around the corner it really is it's just it's nerve wracking it really why would anybody want to come on this show I, I as a guest I couldn't just, sleep last night it's nerve wracking it show. really is you can't say anything there's a I bugger had, I had to take oh, around the corner to go to bed last night. Damn. I'm having fucking anxiety every time. We all know Voss <laughs> is, is, has a speech impediment. No, no, that was, and, that was just, and he says Talkington, but that's his... It like was we, close enough but we all for speak, any other radio show in America. We all speak fluent Voss. Yeah. <laughs> just let him have Talkington. I know. <laughs> Talkington. <laughs> I don't know. I, but is this the right, what, what, what's the question? What's your question? Carrington. What, what's your question? Oh, okay, obviously. You know, it doesn't... Obviously, you want Come a quarterback... Come on, stop talking, dude. <laughs> what's your Sorry. question? Okay, history. Obviously, you want a quarterback that can run, do everything. But basically, it's it's a team. This is what you do. You don't want a, you don't want a guard that could... That could uh, whatever. A guard is supposed to block for the court. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody has their, you know, the end isn't supposed to be able to throw the ball. He's not supposed to come around and... and what's, your, a, what's the fucking question, man? The main thing a quarterback's supposed to do is run the team, be smart, and yeah. be able to throw the ball. That's the main thing, right? Actually, not really. The what? quarterback is, 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 is the most important. That's you, what I just said, the run most, the team. But I'm saying, if, if things break down, okay, or if things don't break down... And you have a quarterback that can run like a running back. Mm. Fucking, what's the difference? Now, uh, 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 you know who I, I used to play football, so it's like you block for somebody who's fearless. Like you want to block for a motherfucker that you know is going to help you win games. So if Michael Vick is running, you know he's a trooper. You're going to block for him. So it doesn't. You can't put that on the guard. You can't because there is. There, that's why they go on skill positions. Skill positions are the motherfuckers that improvise. Me, I'm six four, four hundred pounds. I don't, I don't fucking improvise. No, you I drive yourself right into. I go somebody. hut hut yeah. and I block that cocksucker in front of me. <laughs> that other seven hundred pound dude. <laughs> and then the skill positions make sure that. What position do you play? I play tackle both ways. I played halfback, man. There's no way you play halfback. I played halfback. I was quick. I was very quick. What in the get the fuck? Out I'm of not here. bullshit. I played Holes. halfback. I was quick. You was man. a running back where? The when you're what league? unathletic league was you fucking? <laughs> yes, I'm very athletic. I'm it was all you. Jews. Yeah, it was, yeah, the, it was all the Jewish league. Can you imagine? They uh, have, the, they JFL. <laughs> the JFL. The uh, JFL. Where everybody's an owner. <laughs> yeah. There's no players. Uh, Should have went with the KFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Uh, 22 people on field yeah, negotiating. No, no, nobody will hit you because you're scared. <laughs> they want to hit you. When he scared. goes, blue, I think I went red. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Did he ever know? <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever get to his question? Yeah, he asked it. Oh, I, lo- I tapped that a, pretty, a while uh, ago. It was a really one. a statement. But, okay. You know, you know. All but, right. But that's we speak for involved. Did, did you think the Eagles should have got past the Packers? Uh, not the way they were playing, though. No. And not well, the way they obviously Aaron, didn't seem like they were playing a good game. Aaron Rodgers is a beast. He's evidently. a fucking he's, good quarterback. He's, huh? he's a beast, but he's not. He's just not in the talks at this moment because Drew Brees and and Peyton Manning and Tom Brady are dominating the quarterback world. But evidently, uh, Aaron Rodgers is a fucking he's animal. He's on his way up. He's he's great, he's, he can beat you by himself because they have nobody. Mm. The, they had the best tight end in the league for a second. He got hurt. 
uh, they got a few guys, but they have this kid on on defense who's like a goddamn white Lawrence Taylor. This, so this is where I tap this out. This fucking I don't, I don't Clay Matthews. This. I don't know any of this. Is like a fucking show animal. Hey, actually, what? Yeah. Clay Matthews is an animal. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they got some people. They got some people, but, you know, I mean, who are they playing? Atlanta? They're going to get beat by Atlanta. Atlanta is an animal. It's going to be um, Patriots uh, Atlanta if everybody mm. does what they're supposed to do. I, now that New, Lo- no New Orleans flukes. is out. Yeah, no Sometimes bullshit. Sometimes a fluke happens. Uh, you're, you're listening to the fan, uh, folks. Mm. Mm. Nothing. He should have planned that out, though. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to, like, look at the paper should, like it was should. nothing. I tried to play it off like, you know. I'm so uncomfortable <laughs> now. <laughs> you just make people uncomfortable, Rich. I, right. It's just like, are but, you uncomfortable but, now? But he'll victimize himself. He'll, he'll victimize himself. Why are you beating me up? As, uh, uh, what if time Patrice, I said that, if so Patrice so said that, it would be... If I said we're yeah. listening to the fan, and then and I had no them. confidence in it, yeah. I didn't have no any belief, none, none at all. He but just wants to say something. Say something. But I thought it would have been funny. Shut but up. where were you going? Nowhere. 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 He had no plan B I, to make it better. I, I always have hope that he's going somewhere Richard when he does that. Exit. I usually do if, have some. If dinner. Rich oh, builds like, a building, he? he'll build. He'll have one piece of wood and hope Why did that he... everybody else has the rest of the fucking material. <laughs> Why did he need a prop for that bad line? Because he knew. He actually had a prop. And he said yeah, he no. He no. It was, it, was, it was his fucking. Sorry. It, it was the douche chills he gave himself. Yeah. I thought. I the thought. Fan, and he folded up the paper. But I thought he was cleverly going into a plug for one of his shows. No, no that was Plan B, but I didn't. That was Plan B, but I was so embarrassed by Plan A. Why are you fucking going against your? Comp- you have, I would say, we all are, are basically, we, we're fluent in Voss. Yes. You yes. know he had nothing else. You know what cleverness was he getting ready to say? I, I hold out for hope with him. You know, the first, you know, the first of all has no second of all. <laughs> I know, you're right. You're right. You're yeah. Right. It, maybe I'm things? tired because Monday. Cause, you're right. I should have picked up on the But that's because we love Rich. We want Rich to succeed. Because it throws yeah. everything Listen. out of whack. I yes. need Rich to succeed. So I can mm-hmm. go, I'm, this is my friend. Listen, yeah. first of all. Let we me roll together. We, here's, here's I, hear, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I agree. In the overall aspect of life, mm-hmm. I'm successful. Okay. He's been reading the secret. Like I don't read any of that. I don't read. He's been reading some positive read. horseshit. No, I don't read. You got an iPad now? I don't huh? read. You got an iPad? No, I'm going to buy Bobby's old one. See, it's always that. Oh, that's what bothers me. Why don't you just go get a fucking this. new iPad? I don't yeah, know if I'm why are you always like looking it, for a deal on I'm everything? Like you'll like it. Huh? Dude, you'll that's, like it. That's what infuriates me. When was what? the last thing you actually why bought something it? brand new and didn't go you're, looking you're for a deal? Present. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, don't even know what, I don't even know what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you well, got. It was $300. Thank you. I appreciate that. What? Why is Bobby getting rid of it? Because a new one will come out. Well, why don't you just buy yourself a new what, what one? Is, what is the specs on Bobby's fucking iPad, and how much is he, is he going to buy? Give it to you for? I don't know. I'm, like, listen, I'm, I'm going to buy it. You don't. You never I, buy yourself nice stuff. You're always looking for a fucking no, here's deal. The, thing, the car is always two, two years old. old. Nice other people's shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always a deal that has to be made. Why don't it's you just fun. go, why don't you just go buy yourself an iPad? You're successful. Huh? You're successful. Go out and get a fucking iPad. Maybe I'll do it today. Do it. I'm Somebody else's wrist sweat was on your watch. Like it's no, this is brand new. This is brand new, brother. <laughs> all right, so you, brand so you did buy yourself a brand. All right, at least all right. I but don't you, believe him. I'll show you. The, I'll no, show no. you the paperwork. I don't believe him. You got a dead guy's watch on you? He, Not at all. You it's do, a right? Deal. No, the dead sh- guy's watch. Yeah, it's some deal. He bought it in Canal Street in the back. No. How'd you buy the watch? And I guarantee you have something on it. I'll tell you how I bought. Yeah. The, uh, Listen for the deal. There's going to be some kind of bartering that right, happened. Right. You, there was something. Did I ever say Martin's Jewelers on this uh, <laughs> show? Voss has a diamond. Uh, let me see. Which one? Let me see that. He has a diamond bezel Rolex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Voss did not buy I'm, a I, diamond bezel. No Rolex. I was making stupid uh, money brand a couple. Of, listen to me. You did not buy oh no, no, no whoa, whoa, whoa Scott, retail. you're right. You know what? There's, there's I bought the Rolex and then I bought the bezel separate. I went, I went and got the bezel 
at, at the jewelry store. If we, just if we clean. continue to Hold fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. examine yeah, yeah. this pussy, breaking down a red. Okay, okay. okay. What happened? Explain was, how you bought the watch. I guarantee there was some kind of bargaining no, or something. There. Not for this one. So my, I had my other the Rolex watch part first. My other Rolex. Here's how we find out. Go ahead, Patrice. My other Rolex. Here's how we find out. What's the what's the style of Rolex? This one. This is the uh, what's it called? The fucking oh the the date just the date just. And then I went and bought the uh, the diamond bezel because I bought Bonnie a diamond bezel when they, Bonnie they had the, just this what happened. It to listen, me for half listen price. <laughs> when Bonnie when, when Bonnie had wait hold on when Bonnie had the baby I bought her a diamond bezel because I bought myself one. How much you pay for it new? What the watch? Yeah. I think like seven grand. It was like seven grand new. Looking at bosses. Well, I don't know if you bought it. I'm telling you. Not for it. seven years. I fucking believe it. No, I don't I believe, don't believe it. it. My other Rolex, there was some shady shit behind it. Everything you do has shady shit behind it. Shady shit. Everything. I don't believe it. I don't believe it I don't believe it. I'm, I'm square business. Square business. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what niggas say. <laughs> when you're dealing in street with us, oh, yo, look at me. Square, square business. business. Square, square business. business. <laughs> watch. Square business. <laughs> I'm trying to say. So you actually just, spent seven thousand dollars. No more, because then I went and bought right. a diamond that, bezel. On that watch, this no, is like that. that. Nobody would do that. No, what are you not, talking that about? watch. He and got a Voss. good. Voss would not have brought a bought a brand new that I'm watch. I'm telling you, knowing you could have got it cheaper looking around. No, or, no, or, no. You can't. You, not can just, get, just, you can get a different watch. This is this is what I'm saying about Voss. What? A You're seven, saying this isn't a nice saying, watch? No, for, no, no, no. That Rolex that Voss has, okay, uh -huh. a particular one, because. Because Danny looked it up, well, and I there's a whole three bunch years of ago. different fucking... You're right, I bought it. I've had so, it three so or four I'm years. Saying, it's, it's, it's within range of what it would, would cost. A brand, but still. a brand new Rolex, right? You get It's like I said, that Rolex there is the... It's the... You buy a, a, a top-of-the-line Toyota. Mm -hmm. so this is a top-of-the-line Rolex. And so this yeah, is why that's why we're suspicious, why and that's why you're lying. Because a seven, there, you're you not know, spending seven thousand on a watch. There's no seven thousand dollar top of the line. You're wrong. Rolex. You think you know everything about everything? You, first I of all, I don't. <laughs> but a top of the no, line listen, Rolex listen. is more oh, you're right. you than seven thousand dollars. First of all, you can get a Rolex for one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Then you can don't get one. say you bought a top of the line Rolex. Right. I bought a seven thousand dollar <laughs> Rolex. So compared to the four thousand so dollar Rolex, it's the top of the he line. He bought <laughs> again. He bought that Boxster. He bought the Boxster. No, no, he no. bought the bottom of the oh, line. He could have no, gotten no, the top of the no, line. Listen, you could have got a top of the God, line. He just doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you could have well, got I'll a top of the line. <laughs> you just, you no, got a top of the line. You could have got a what, top of the line. What watch you have? What watch? A, 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 a Breitling. Is that the top of the line Breitling? Absolutely not. Okay. Is it a nice Breitling? Yes. What did that cost you? 3000 right? Yes. That's about a 3000 yes. My other Rolex is a $5,000 Rolex. This is a seven. Maybe one day I'll have a $12,000 Rolex. Because maybe, we don't but he Here's the thing. A very good Rolex right. for for cheap. Yeah. No, I didn't buy it for cheap. I bought it for what the I not only that, we I bought all, this when none of us listen, believe you. Yeah. Listen, see this and right if you here, did, see this shit if right did, here. It'll be the first time you've so actually bought something from the diamond store. Star of David. I bought this shit in the diamond district right here, right? Mm -hmm. That's where you get deals and shit. You know the deal in the diamond district. This I bought from a jewelry store. So it wasn't there's no barter in there's no I mean maybe a little, hey, do this, do that, you know, take a couple. But this was I think a nine thousand dollar watch, and they gave it to me for seven because I might have plugged them on radio. I don't know somewhere <laughs> I might have put their name on something. Who knows? But that's what we're getting at. There's always something going on with so you. So that was the deal. No, but I didn't do it. I think one. it goes deeper than that. But at least he's admitting that much. All I and know he'll is admit more. Yeah, he didn't just walk in and go. No, I want that. Take a, take a hundred dollars off and boom, I'll, I'll, I'll walk out of the store with it now. No, there was something else going You're on. Right, but you yeah, already admitted. Listen, you pay for it. Knocked it down two thousand. You, you, do you pay full price for everything? Who's going to walk in and pay Not full? everything, but when you a buy, lot of times I do, and even when I wasn't making money, because sometimes it's like, I want that. I'm getting it now. I'm not going to go on the internet and look for a no, bargain. Not the internet. Yeah. I, I you wouldn't always buy a Rolex for a bargain. bargain. I wouldn't buy a Rolex. It's not the bargain. It's the fun of negotiating, man. It's oh, not the bargain. I, I, it's pay, like I pay full price for almost everything. 
Really? Yeah, I just I, I was like, oh, that is that what it cost? All right, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that was too yeah, much well, work, uh, huh? That was too much work, and I'm you talking know, about barter, before I had money. This fucking before Saigon. Well, first of all, fucking... you can't barter for you know certain things that you buy. You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> okay. Do you, you walk down Canal Street ever? Never Looking been. What's on Canal Street? All right, I'm just no, I don't go to Canal Street. No, it's 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 the drug addict <clears throat> mentality. You don't get it, but you like you like to. Negotiator, you like you like to fucking. No, you know, I, I the look, ass. Huh? It's no, not a pain in the ass. Rich. Like when you you're worth millions of dollars. You know that's, so not, that's, not, that's not no, the no, point we're making. He he, thou protesteth too, too much. much. So it, it's what, not the point what, we're what, making. What we're going Rich. back to, he's actually making that point. Is that he got it on a deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it, it wasn't. But it wasn't brand new. Out the fuck, I'm gonna tell you why. It was brand new. It's brand new. Rolex dealers can't. They, they don't. They can't fuck with a price. They don't fuck you, around. You can't fuck with a is. brand new no, Rolex no. price. Oh, he he yells, so he's got to be to. right. They don't need to do that. <laughs> he, when he yells, he's got to be right. You're 100 percent wrong. I'll, I'll it up. could be the last year model. Don't. They, they don't because Rolex hold their price forever. So you buy it for twenty, you sell it for twenty. That's admitted. not true. They don't he hold their price. Admitted he got they do hold their price. He admitted no, they it. don't. Go online. I got I got the GMT or whatever Rolex that is. All right. Hey, here's I'm not another thing. You, what? Look at, I know that I have uh, the Breitling Avenger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why I know that? Because I brought a three thousand dollar watch, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh -huh. He bought a seven thousand dollar. I think that used to be nine thousand. Doodly, scoodly. It's <laughs> like, will you stop it? Just <laughs> fucking stop really? it. Have you ran out of things to say? <laughs> Where you gonna attack you? my watch? Is there an extra? No. Have you ran out of now? This is more is diversionary just... tactics. Is there an extra letter on that watch? <laughs> <laughs> There's an S. It's a Rolexes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for getting it. Oh. <laughs> is there an extra oh, letter? Now we're doing stock. It's a Strolex. <laughs> is that a stock? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my god. Oh, I like. That. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you don't come to my watch. <laughs> but at least you admitted that. <laughs> at least you admitted that you, you got $2,000 off the watch. Oh, I don't know. By but doing I, some I uh, hoodly doodly stuff. All I'm saying is that's fine. You That's your thing. You like to bargain and go online and find deals. I, I get that. Part I spend Hold money. on. But you do that with everything. Not and that's everything. the problem we have. Here's a, go and buy an iPad. Wait, They're not that problem. expensive. Wait, wait, first of all, just, you have a lot more problems in this authority, but my spending habits aren't a problem to you. Okay, I, <coughs> excuse oh, me. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, but your lung cancer <laughs> certainly oh, is a problem. God. I hope it's not contagious. I got some of Anthony's hair in my mouth. Okay, here's the I love, I oh, spend money. Damn. I'm not, I'm, not I'm far from cheap. Okay, last night we went out for dinner, just dropped 150 for nothing for what the kids. What was kid. the deal you made with the fucking no, restaurant? No, no, we went Why out. Why would he say that? That's, like, that's a gentleman's that price. Is not, <laughs> that ain't shit. 150 Without alcohol? How many people? Three. Seven. No, me, <laughs> me, Bonnie, and the baby. But we were going to just go get some, you know, light like sandwich because we're going to a nice place. If it was night. McDonald's, but, then we'd be but, impressed. What, yes, what kind of restaurant? I, like, we, we can't we get, go, you listen, can't get out I, of a restaurant I, I, for I, less than 100 for And two I people. love the free bread <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. The Olive Garden. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, uh, Ross, Ross, where'd you go? I don't know. The fucking concierge sent us somewhere. What the fuck? You know, I have what a concierge. What type of food? He doesn't know. The concierge. Know. He doesn't Italian. know. Now, can, Italian. We, can we, can we, can we agree that we will not allow him to say he doesn't know any what? of these things anymore? Like, hey, where'd you go to eat? I don't know. What's you your watch? Know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, what's going no. on? Yeah. What's I went to an Italian fucking restaurant. A fucking Italian <laughs> restaurant down the street from the hotel. Who the fuck? Are, who cares the name? name it was restaurant. good. It was good. <laughs> Anyhow, what I'm trying to say, wait, let's get back to my point. <laughs> Look it. Let's get back to my point. Hold on. Here's my point. We're, we're done with your point. My, I, Vols you know always I'm not cheap. Vols I'm not always cheap. talks like he's trying to talk his way out of a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ticket. No matter what, you go, hey, Vols, how you doing today? Why would that? I, Why does it matter? You know what's fucked up about Why? Long Island? I was driving to my gig the other night. And all of a sudden, I'm driving through the light, and I see two flashes. Like the light took uh, a picture yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. as you're driving, you're <laughs> you know you yeah, get. And, it, and that the light was days. yellow. It was yellow. Well, but, must have been red when you were at the going through it. <laughs> like they took two pictures. You got the picture. I, <laughs> That's that technology is gonna be on every huh? street corner. Too. That's fucking unbelievable. Uh, that shit's getting cheaper to Rich put up. Rich Voss, you are fined $150 with a $30 <laughs> surcharge. Can I give you 20 for the surcharge? 
charge, <laughs> and I'll give you one twenty-five for the ticket, and if I'll perform you, at you, your benefit. What do you mean? If you talk, uh, I got a ticket. If you talk to the prosecutor, you could talk him down. I know, yeah. But I'm not going to go to New York for a fucking. Well, that's, I'm well, paying that's a hassle. Just, it's unfortunately, a fucking, and they know that, so you just yeah, pay they, and fucking move, it's move a on. scam, man. <laughs> Voss drives to the court of that county that he got that. You have, ticket. haven't you, Rich? No, Voss but I got a ticket up in pay. when Once I was doing a college. I was doing a college up in Alfred, New York. You went back to Alfred? No, no, no. You went back when to I got Alfred. pulled over, I my first one is, do you guys listen to Opie and Anthony? And oh. then that got me nothing. Then the PBA cards, nothing. Okay. Well, PBA and I paid, doesn't get you anything anymore. PBA is Those cards nothing. mean nothing. PBA nothing. is something you just want to throw. You need the FOP, man. There's one card that you buy for like 200 or $300. You can't see, buy them. See? But yeah, my can. friend has Patrice, it. but he can. <laughs> my friend. You forgot your own point. Of course he's buying these things. Because he's done that research, too. You got to ask him. No, like, PBA, if somebody gives you a PBA, it's like it's like they, they take PBA cards. FOP, the Fraternal Order, you That's need the that. one, right? The FOP is the one is you, that the, you Where's you the one where you make a... A donation, and you get the card, and they're like, "We like this motherfucker." Called a bribe. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, the, but the plastic on the ones you need. Right here, you need right here. Made out of, Thought we made take out care of. Fucking, of I know you got. You must have five thousand. No, I don't have any of the. Uh, I don't have any of the. Oh, hold on. You have to have at least FOP, <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. How many? How many? You must have fifty I, FOP oh, cards. No, I only need this one. Oh, What's shit. that? This is the only one. And this is the key. That's this the, the key one. one? Yeah. That's that, and and on the back it's got everything written on. Oh, this and this is big. This is this is bigger That's than the brass. FOP. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the this is the fraternal order of bigger motherfuckers than that. Did you have, did you have to make a big donation for that or something, or was that given? to yeah, you? Yeah, I make a big donation donation every month. I pay the Marescas. Oh, this is, and he already got you. He already got you one of these. And, and you know, I know the guy. Let me see that. He yeah. just slipped me one of these fucking things. I got, I got one at the house. I, I'll, I, I know the guy. I like like we. He, this this should come with this show. Doing this, show. <laughs> this should fucking come with you that. Get man. something for it, right? Are you fucking serious? I I got one at home. Even, I, I can't one. be mad at Keith though for anything. That fucker knows how to play poker, man. Yeah. He helped yeah. me. He helped Did me he? play poker. Dude. Really? Oh, absolutely. You went well too. I was the last. I know. Uh, I know you did well. People from this show that, that was out. And, and what you, was this? A tournament that I wasn't invited to? It's gambling, Rich. To. No, I wasn't. Huh? It's gambling. Oh, I don't mind that I, anymore. What is this one? Lifetime member. Oh, You're gambling again? No. That so doesn't. That does you nothing, right? Does that does you anything if you it pull that out? It gets you discounts at hotels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> does it? Yeah. <laughs> a little something. Now something. Boss is interested. And yeah, hey, wait a minute. I'll join. Goddamn. I don't believe yeah. in guns, I never but if I get it, a though. discount, I'll like, do you it. have any? Whenever I make that. a reservation online or something, <laughs> it says, oh, do you have any of this for discount? And I always, I never put it in. I could probably save fucking thousands upon thousands of dollars if I, if I <laughs> took <laughs> one second to, like, check into something. Or if you didn't drink when you were gambling. <laughs> no, that's, no, actually, that works. <laughs> he really, really? He, I'll tell you one thing. He really is a sneaky, he goes from just completely coherent to like, oh shit, this nigga's lushing right now. <laughs> he yeah. went. He it took about four good hours. Yeah, and and we were just like, oh, okay, everything. And then, you know what happened? You said something mean. Like you started off nice. <laughs> oh shit. And then at the end, like after the four hours, you just got. You just said, fuck it. I'm yeah. gonna say some fuck dumb shit to somebody. And I go, yeah, yeah. I looked and go, this motherfucker's drunk as shit. <laughs> I was hammered. <laughs> I what? said, this motherfucker just said something. I called the dealer. I called the dealer a cunt. Uh, something oh, yeah. happened. Uh, I said, yeah. uh oh. And then it's like. And then some old bat. I was making a lot. Like, I make a lot of noise at the table, even having a good time and shit and fun. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's how it's done. And then some fucking old bitty, bitchy woman uh, on the other side of the pit, like, was sitting at a table. And she turned and gave me this look. And I just looked at her. I went, what the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you? I go turn your head around, you fucking old bitch. And, and, and then you which know, is why, get like, oh, which is boy. why, oh, our, which is why done. our friend is so serious. Uh, 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 you know, Gabe. So he goes, uh, can I say his name on there? No. Oh. Oh. Keith. Yeah. Keith is very serious about right. his job. I go, Keith, how come you ain't playing? He says I'm working. He's working. I go, all right, well, damn, just play a hand though. You're so good. 
And then at the end of after I see Anthony's shenanigans, then he, I understand. You know. When you're playing blackjack, Keith yeah. has to keep Anthony out of trouble. Keith keeps me out of trouble, and he he pays off my markers. <laughs> you know what Keith is? You ever see Scarface at the, when he's in, in in the restaurant? And and Ernie, Ernie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie had to talk to the fuck. <laughs> <guy. laughs> Anthony's like, I'm the bad guy. Fuck you! And then this, Ernie has to slide a guy fifty. Look at you. I'm the bad guy. How do you not? You need me. You <laughs> need the bad guy. Look at you bunch of fucking mummies. And, uh, just, I'll, pay, I'll pay the bill. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care yeah, of you. Don't worry the about one it. Keep, 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 why can't you? Keep. Why don't you shoot craps? It's the it's the crack of gambling. It's no, the best, I, I, man. I make I make money on blackjack. But you you can make more on craps. Nah, I don't yeah. know craps. You, well, well, you didn't me. know blackjack until someone taught you. Uh, well, uh, crap, Best well, odds, well, craps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, better than blackjack. Oh my god, I don't want craps. It's so much more exciting. Uh, I like blackjack. I, I lost. I was losing once, and I, I hit the table. I went fuck, and I threw my hands up. And the waitress had a tray of a hundred <laughs> drinks right behind me, and they went flying in the air. And I just brushed her off like nothing happened. Go get some more fucking drinks. I just lost a lot of fucking. It's money. always about a hundred drinks too. Oh uh, man, when you're, when you're losing losing. trips. When you're losing, it's just like you but, know, don't give me but, shit. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck but you. But he should be able to act like, uh, be able to act like an asshole with the action he's throwing down. That's true. Why does it matter? There should be an asshole room. Room. You know they got a high roller room? They should have an asshole room. Absolutely. Where you're allowed man. to call the dealer a cunt. You're allowed to fucking curse. You could throw shit on the floor. Like, that's what you're buying by fucking going into this this high, high roller. It's the nasty high roller you know, room it, where you could just go, you fucking piece of shit with these fucking blackjacks you're dealing yourself. Die, motherfucker. You know what's funny? They get mad when you curse, but yet they don't mind that you drink, lose your house, pick up a hooker oh, yeah, after there. Curse. That's they have immoral. Pro- everything, everything is complete evil in a casino, but you're not allowed to curse. Go so fuck yourself. This Asian dealer de- was <laughs> yep. dealing me shit point, and dealing himself great cards, and I yelled right in the face. I went, no tip for you! <laughs> <laughs> that showed her. I'm I was sure. getting so obnoxious. That's what I do, Danny. It reminds me of actually one of my favorite casino stories where that Patrice was at. Actually, it was the Hard Rock in Vegas when uh, the traveling virus tour was going on. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Travis, went, uh, Travis, uh, Patrice wanted to sit down and, and play some three card poker. So I remember you pointed at the dealer at one point and you oh. went ah, and the guy was just like, "It's not my money." So Patrice just pointing at the cameras above the table. So I was going ah. <laughs> when when we were playing I think we were playing blackjack at one point too and and the dealer is dealing out some some good cards for the table and busting and every time the dealer busted Patrice pointed right in the dealer's face and went ah! <laughs> It was so fucking funny and flustered the deal. You're a lot it, of fun it, to gamble with, Patrice. But oh, yeah. in, a lot of in fun. my short time of hanging and gambling a little bit, yeah, something bothers me about gambling. Yeah, when I was, it, it's it's eventually it gets pathetic. It, it, <laughs> at Eventually, first, yeah. I'm like having a great time, but I don't drink and shit, so I only run off my own battery. I don't have fucking <laughs> booze, so booze batteries are great. After, <laughs> after, you know, you know, at the slot machine, you know, you sit there and you win a couple of times. You go, oh, I'm gonna keep playing. After a while, you you push the button, like, like just yeah, yeah, like, it, there's know. no more. Fun and so at first these you're t- pulling the yeah. handle so you can have some fun. It's like, whoa, I'm pulling the handle, and then you just clink, push. Have you ever clink? Then push. it gets really serious and really, mm-hmm. really. I hate have you ever seen? I saw a guy. I was playing blackjack once, and he was sitting. And he was like this. He just lost. He was up. He lost twenty five thousand. Yeah. And he was so he was sitting there, and he didn't know me. He goes, "Can you can you give me ten dollars for, for another bet?" What? Right. He just lost twenty. He built it to twenty, and he lost the whole twenty five thousand. Yeah. So I gave him ten. Hurt. Like, like, really, you're going to get that twenty five thousand back? It's yeah. not going to happen. With ten dollars, hey, with ten, really? It's just that he had to make one more bet. Right, right, you know? right. He's always got to make. Did you one read more. the book Owning Mahoney? Hold on, hold no. on, hold on. About the ten dollars, uh, what percentage did you uh, nego- yeah. negotiate yeah. with the guy? What was the vig on that one? <laughs> the vig. Yeah, yeah. I, I was winning. So I <laughs> and another time. I'm going to take five percent of everything you win with my ten bucks. <laughs> See black, see dice, see blackjack. Yeah, you're, here's the thing: you're, you're <laughs> fucking with. You're, when you're playing blackjack, you're fucking with assholes that don't know how to play, yeah. and they're hitting when they're not supposed to, or they're not hitting when they're supposed to. Craps. The only thing you might have is some one who throws your dice too hard and likes bouncing it all over the place. But you don't have to worry about the motherfucker next to you going. 
oh, I'm going to hit when the dealer has a well, four. you don't sit at those fucking tables. Well, how do you know somebody when somebody sits goes down, to sit down? You turn around and you tell them, you go, what the fuck are you doing? You don't know how to play? Leave this table. I go, I'm not betting five bucks a hand here, motherfucker. Yeah. You leave. Or I'll pull, my, I'll pull like my bets go. back. I'll pull my bets back when the and, and then when he goes go Asian fuck lady, yourself. When a new Asian lady sits down at the table, you will you will see me pull yeah, my fucking course. bet back and throw the minimum bet right in the circle just so I can see what the fuck she's gonna do. It's first. the same with Crash. When they're hot, they come over to do the money. That's when they come over and bring chips. Uh, bring it, when they, they always bring, bring it the up. chips yeah, when yeah, the yeah, table's fucking because the dude's on a roll. I was playing in Aruba. I'm not bullshitting when we were. My first wife, we went to Aruba, and I got money all over the fucking table. I'm on fire with the fucking dice. Winning like a... It was fucking insane. And then my wife comes over and touches my arm. Mush. Seven fucking out. <laughs> you know how bad... Ah, you know you how... Wanna, and then, just want to and, choke her. And then we got home from Aruba after I took her there, and she goes, I want a divorce. Bitch, <laughs> you couldn't have told me that a week ago before you touched my arm, Okay. <laughs> Right when we got home from Aruba, I wanted a divorce. <clears throat> you know some about the gambling. Less money quick. you had to give yeah. her, though. When, when do you get up and go, I'm going to stop right well, that's now? A, that's the big or, question. When the you pipe breaks. Do that answer, there, there you, are, the there are differences. I mean, when do you get up for the evening? Yeah, After there, you win 25 Gs, like, when I'm do up. you just go? There are differences. Gonna, I'm I get up when you get I'm chest up. pains. I get up when I'm too fucking tired to sit there anymore. That's when I'll get up, up or down. If I'm up, I'll, I'll leave. If I'm down, I'll leave and, and say, like, uh, I'll try again tomorrow or something like that. But Keith is the guy. Like, I'll sit there and and play, and Keith will fucking come by and snatch the fucking chips and go right to the cage, pay off markers, whatever, and I'll keep playing with what he left at the table. Boom, boom, boom. Like, last time, <laughs> just last time we were at uh, Mohegan or Fo uh, Foxwoods. We were at Foxwoods. I woke up the next morning and I just was like fucking hungover and shit. I'm like, I was like, Keith, what's the damage, man? What I lose? And he's like, dude, you won ten grand. I was like, oh fuck. I'm at, lose all yeah, because all I remember was yelling, marker, I, you know, fucking marker, this is it. marker. <laughs> I, I I do a bit on saying I'm not doing that, but this is true. Like when you go to a casino with like your girl or your wife, and this is you know you go. You go, hold this money. Don't give it back to me no matter what I tell you. And that's what you're doing with Keith. No, An no, hour later, that. give me my fucking money. No, 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 I don't. Huh? I don't do that. Half the casino does that. Like, you hide money or no, you have no, your no, wife. No, 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 no. But see, you, you, I'll, I'll just because ask you for got, another, you got stupid money, so it doesn't matter. I'll just ask like, for I, another marker. I've sold gold necklaces in casinos. I'm not saying you can't fucking <laughs> you can't like gold build necklace. poor gamblers out of their fucking money. Are, I want to to gamble again so bad. I'm in. I'm at Foxwoods in uh, uh, Fourth of July weekend. You're getting the itch. I'm there. Oh, next, I shot craps in Seattle. I'm at the Borgata next week. <laughs> <laughs> this this oh, weekend. You're lucky Jimmy's not here. I mean, I did you or did you not? No. All right, get your plugs in. We got to take a break. Oh, I'm in Harrisburg next weekend. At the uh, Comedy Zone. At, at Catch a Rising Star in, in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Harrisburg is the door deal, so come to Harrisburg because right. I'm doing a door deal there. <laughs> uh, movies next. And, uh, you know, something we wanted to play Friday. We ran out of time. The Uncle Whip and the Nephew. What happened? Oh, oh yeah, that a one. gang member? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Making believe he was a gang member? That's absolutely real? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The research I've uh, done. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do that as well. All right. Okay, I Obi and Anthony, Patrice O'Neill, Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Your girl's uh, tweeting, I think, uh, there, Patrice. Is she, is she's she, making sure everyone's listening to you on the Opie and Anthony show. She's a good girl. What am I going to do? She's uh, promoting your website, PatriceO'Neill.com. She's a good Big girl. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. She is a good girl. I don't deserve her. I don't deserve my girl. She's a good. I turned a hoe into a housewife, and she's a good girl. <laughs> she's a beautiful woman, man. She's she really better, is. Beautiful. She's better than I deserve. She's definitely. But beautiful. she's still a cunt. <laughs> God is she a cunt? <laughs> God is she retarded and she's insane. She hates women. She hates men. That's every. But, chick but we get. Does. But, but she's yeah. come to grips with it. Yeah. And uh, she's a good goddamn girl, man. I don't know that you got you got a way out. Whether they're really good and it compensates for how batshit crazy they are, because uh, every every fucking girl I've ever known it's insane is crazy. Do you know? 
between my marriage and my second one, I had like 10 or 14 years off. And I see comics do girls are out of their mind, this and that. And I go, oh, please, you know, really? And then uh, being with Monty, it's like you're going, really? That's why I said, really? 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 I'm trying, really? You're yelling at me because I'm eating my dinner last night. I, I ate the whole salad. You're saying, Calm down with my addictive behavior because I ate my salad. Who's this? Bonnie. They're just crazy. They find it's what is crazy. She, what did she say? Well, I like to eat. Uh, and she's like, Let's get Bonnie on the phone. He no, broke no, it no. down that he, all he was doing was eating a salad. There was so much more going yeah, on. Well, I was picking off their plates, yeah. too. After Patrice said what he said, I can't listen to anything you said. Now I need the whole story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get Bonnie on the phone. It wasn't no, about Voss, a dumb little salad. You, another thing Voss does. It, it, these are things <laughs> that <laughs> it about it's solid. If I get in a position, man, Can to we help try to get on? Oh, all right, the friends I think deserve help, that it, we like one of us make it and we got to bring up the others that need uh-huh. help, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to have to tell Voss, stop trying to be competitive in things that you have no idea what to be competitive. Like, me and we having an off-air conversation, and we're talking about, like, how this whole you and it. crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, me and, and Voss. Okay. How the whole crew. Is kind of we we're for real people with for real issues, and there's a lot of up and coming dudes who think that they're gangster, but they're really not. And, and but we we old now. Yeah. Voss has to come in and just say his story, like you know what I told a fucking. No, we're talking. No, yeah. Listen, it's, when, it's when it's you say, but it's not. Let me finish. You say, jump right in. No, let me finish no, because you can dissect hey, Anthony, any ready? fucking thing. Hey, Anthony, Listen. here's what we we we, we, we did an overall uh-huh. us Thank thing. You. Right. It was yeah. an overall. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. We overall us thing. Yeah, we the individual. Us, the, the collective. You know what, he right. comes in well, and goes, okay. here's what I did. Well, here's, what, here's the bottom line. Here's you what, what I did to this bachelorette party. No, I told them, no, no, watch out, no, no, bitches. No, no. Here's the thing. We're talking, the thing. we collectively you know are trying yeah, to be this <laughs> family of... Oh, no. fucking kill no, I was just giving it the goes, as I, I kill the well, best. No, no, he no, always no. wants to kill. No, no. no. Here's, here's what the I did here's last week. Here's what I realized. Patrice, the bottom line. I have to fix that. Now, here's the thing. You, you guys are have known such, each other for yeah. way too many years. Here's the bottom line. Patrice, but you are a better person than me on the outside. But they don't know you like I know you. You're crying on the inside. I quit this. I quit that. No, you just been beaten. I'm crying on that's the outside, too. That's what he's trying to do. He's what? trying to psychologically no. break me down. No, that's, not what yeah. I, that's not his forte. Yes, it is. I've been to it. No, you know I know what Voss's about. forte is? <laughs> get him, Voss. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. I don't want to break him down. I just want him crying. Go get him, Voss. <laughs> and Voss just goes, arr, arr. Thank you. Arr. And you go, down, Voss. Down. <laughs> and then somebody yeah, else tries to, then after he's chewed up, then someone else moves in and goes, this is what I tried to tell you. Yeah. This is you're not going to be able to do this now. If you don't want Voss to bite you and sick you again, shut up. It's, the, then, phone, it's the phony edginess. But then the psychological oh. hammer comes in. Well, I know yeah. a lot about psychology. Do you? Do you, uh, do you see what I'm saying? Have you, what you do? He you, you doesn't. Know, I do. You're wrong. What do you, you know? Don't. What do you know he, about he's it? He's not huh? interested in hold psychology. Hold on, hold on. I, I, you're 100% wrong. What do you know I about I read like a couple uh, of right, fucking you know? uh, give us some chapters basics. in a Bradshaw book. All right, give okay. us some, ba- give us, give us some <laughs> basics of uh, psychology. I'm like, what, what, what do you want to know about? Anxiety, depression? Do you want to know about it? You shit. Anxiety. 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 That's a Chinese ruler. But you can't. Ask me why a person does something, I'll tell you why. I want to just know the basics of psychology. Well, yeah. You said you know about it, so let's start well, with Psychology me, 101. You gotta, you psychology got, for dummies. Give me okay, a basic shit. Basic shit. Wait, let me answer okay, the question. Wait, let me just say to Opie, what you're doing is not fair, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? Here's why I'm saying what I said earlier. What? He, you see how much... There's no one that can answer that. When you ask somebody the right question, now. what's the basics of psychology? Voss is so competitive and, and, and retarded at the same time <laughs> that he doesn't understand that's some, an impossible I know. thing I he's yeah, trying he's, to get well, into. Well, didn't I just yeah. say give me something specific? Okay, but I will right, give right, him. That's fair enough. I did. It's Wait, very difficult to well, do that. But we'll slow down. It isn't. because right, I. First of all, I did say give me something specific. But here's the basics. There's no specifics here. to well, psychology. Here's the basics. Here's okay, the basics. 
all right? It all breaks down on your inner child. That's what it all breaks down <laughs> on, I, okay? As an adult, you cannot be abandoned. As a child, you can. And everything and how you react to situations is from your childhood. Basics. There's a bit. That's not, a, why are you saying that? Because he asked huh? me. That, why are you but saying that? I don't think that? that's even true. It no, is that's, true. That's it is true. That's where about? every... What are you talking about? I'm talking about like you everything. Just, you just picked somebody your yeah. asshole. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you just decided to say it's all about your childhood. Yes. And then that's what that's what yeah. What, what's about your childhood? Your, your what your, behavior? What, your, the, the, all your behavior comes from your fucking childhood. So if you're acting out, you basically that's like saying you were your, acting out as a kid. All your desire for water comes from thirst. No, that's no. <laughs> no you're, fucking, <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> He's a fucking what? asshole. Wait, you listen, you fucking moron. He said the basics. He said the basics. What? That's the basics. There's no, everybody has their own particular thing that you go so at. And it all stems from their childhood. Wait, wait, wait. What if you have a fine average childhood uh -huh. and then at 25 years old you suffer a trauma you have a post-traumatic stress disorder. Whatever, something happens. That completely has nothing Could to do with you explain to him what post-traumatic okay. stress disorder uh, is, by the way? Yeah, doing a show with Rich. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's how they do it. That, no, no, that's during well, then, stress then, disorder. Well, then, then that doesn't <laughs> fall in the category of basics. <laughs> that is completely basic. All, right. all right, you asked for... All right, I got one. Okay. Why are you, Rich Voss, so insecure? Why? It's Psychologically probably, speaking. Uh, because uh, I didn't get enough reinforcement as a kid from my parents. You Why? Know, the stories you've told are terrific. Blame it on your parents. Terrific. Terrific. Well, yeah, you just asked me and I gave you an answer. I didn't get enough type of fucking stories you tell. What kind of stories? Like the time your mom oh, <laughs> <laughs> dragged, it, dragged it to your father's house and said, here, you take them, <laughs> I don't want them. No, that was my grandparents. Oh, your grandpa, yeah, that's, good want them. that's good reinforcement. But it's grandparents. You, you have abandon sh abandonment uh, issues. issues. That's yeah. why you're yeah. always... That's why you're always like. Well, well why do I have insecure? Because I come into this fucking battlefield, <laughs> right? And I get twitters from the fucking fat We're listeners. We're trying to build you up. Fucking your fucking moron <laughs> listeners that don't even get irony. I fucking twit. I'm going on to O and A tomorrow. I'm going to dress nice. I and these fucking morons. What does it matter? You fat fucking listeners, go fucking I die. Did, and he right. won't. He <laughs> and because he needs the numbers. What? He won't block. Block those. I do. People. I block him. You're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I block him. Nothing, I just want to know how to block him. There's absolutely nothing wrong with blocking you, you him. Simple add, you hear what he added? You hear what he added at that I last learned that throwaway yeah, line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just learned how well, to. Think, I don't but think he that didn't shit. say he doesn't. I just said I block people. Rich, I block three people I'm yesterday. I'm on your side again because I, I followed you on Twitter yesterday, and, and you did make a joke like I'm going ONA a and I'm going to dress nice or yeah. something like that. And Obviously a, a silly, dumb, throwaway yeah. little joke. No big deal. And people were... Answering him like he was serious. They're fucking idiots. Like uh, the other I'm night, like, the other can't you night, pick up on the fact that yeah, I was a throwaway the, the line? other night, they don't get it. The other night at the show, this guy comes up, goes, "You fucking killed oh. her right on the radio." Listen, I kill on the fucking radio, you morons. I fucking ten for ten the last fucking. This is but these fucking, uh, no, no, no. This you, is you don't another... deal with it. You don't deal with it. I'll what give you. You don't deal with these fucking animals, these listeners. Rich, well, they're I, my I, only what? fans, really. Like, what do you mean? I don't <laughs> deal with them, Rich? I'll give you eight out of ten. That's still no. good, though. Go over the fucking go over. Eight out of ten. No. Ten out of ten. I've seen Today was my slow stuff day. about Patrice on Twitter. Huh? I've seen ridiculous stuff. And did I spell fans. anything wrong? <laughs> I got something right, for Rich. I, I got something for Rich. What? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This is for Rich. Hi, Mommy. This is for you. I know I'm the same way, Mommy. I love you, but I really want to see you for the last hours, man. It seems like everybody's home. Hi, Mommy, I'm home. I told you I was coming this year. Yeah. Hi, I don't really This could so be rich, Bob. I'm home. I got a haircut. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too, son. Please don't disappoint me. I love you, too, son. Please don't disappoint me. That was the second thing after I love you. And I've been praying, Mommy. You know what's going on? 
I'll return to his headphones off. Hi, Bobby. Why did that bother you? Why did that bother you? Watch, listen, that shit. We're breaking down some psychology right now. Here's the thing. Why did that bother you? I'm going to tell you real quick. I broke the chain of dysfunction in my family. That's all. So did I. Okay, I didn't say that. High five across the room. I broke the chain of dysfunction. Boom. Me and your brother. I got, you know what? Wait, what? And I'm what? talking about both of you. What? You have to break the chain. A dysfunction. You two did? Shit. Listen. Yes. Fuck yeah, I did. Listen. You don't pay you attention to me in my personal that. life. You yeah. don't know the first thing about me. I got me. all my, my kid's first tooth that I pulled. Her first <laughs> haircut. I, I got, Bonnie goes, why do you got your kid's uh, first baby shoes? Okay? Because they were the first. And they were, that's the, okay? I, I went to, let's say my father's house. I was doing a TV show years ago and they needed a baby picture. I go, do you got any pictures? I mean, I think he had two. Let me tell you what this show has done to Okay. <laughs> Here comes Dr. Patrice. <laughs> and I don't blame him. I don't fucking blame him. It's such a war zone <laughs> that a man who should be speaking much slower and clearer just rambles. Shit. Like, he's so talking get in faster than his brain yes. is able to. I, I want to hear this because you're like, you know what he doesn't have confidence in? He doesn't have confidence in a point that might not have to be funny. So, yeah, yeah. so no, if you say, if he says something about his kid's baby shoes, that's an interesting. Why do you save your kid's baby shoes? Because right? your mom didn't save yours? No, Who cares? No, they're no, the first. He says, yeah. why do you save? I was listening. Why do you save their first baby shoes? Because they were the first. And then he moves on. Like, okay, you, so, have, you have to fucking explain yourself. No, you, you two go, I broke the chain of blah, blah. And you gave an air high five. That's each right, other. man. And <laughs> nobody knows what the fuck you talking about. That's because you're just You can't just say that. Only, <laughs> only fucking we people know, that we know grew what we're up talking in about. dysfunction understand yeah, that shit. What the fuck you talking what, about? Uh, really? I'll tell you. I broke the okay. motherfucking I chain broke. of okay. dysfunction. Okay. I, 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 Patrice, okay. to get serious too. for a moment, I realized in my behavior, I was doing the same fucking horse shit my mom did and, yeah. and her mom did to her, and finally you wake up one day and go, I'm going to do it different. Hey, you want me to break That's it down breaking like the this. fucking chain. I'll break it down so you understand. I, in, a, in a black neighborhood, okay, uh, a mom will have three slow, child. Slow down for a second. Okay. This is where I grew up. Can we it's promise not, not to cut Voss off? No, no. No one cut right. him off. Did, can we promise? Now, you, slow okay. down and explain this. And this is where I with, grew up, so this is what I know. And within 30 seconds, the okay. wheels will fall okay. off and go. Let's because say, I'm going to tell you why. He's going to pretend like this wasn't trying to be funny. No, this is not being I funny. I want to hear you I'm say a serious, say, slow story. I'm, I'm going to tell side. you to break go. the chain of dysfunction. Where I grew up, and I used to hang on Rudy's porch and hang out with Rudy and Pee Wee and his family. And the rest okay. of the fucking <laughs> fat Albert gang. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, you can't explain Fucking asshole. Go ahead. Go ahead. You hung out with Rudy on the porch. Rudy and Pee Wee and the family. Theo and, and fucking okay, and, and Claire. Fist, and I get it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. So and mushmouth. Okay. Mouth. All right. And so and the mom, said, R- R- Voss, you like a school in June. No class. Go ahead. I'm with you. Go ahead, Voss. I'm sorry. Let it rip. Let it rip. Okay. And let's say one of the family members wasn't working and was getting government assistance. Let's say. Then the daughter grew up and saw her mom didn't have to work and had kids and got government assistance. So did she. And then her kids grew up and got government assistance because her mother and grandmother did. So one of the one of the people, somebody in that chain has to break the dysfunction. <laughs> do you know, somebody okay, to, okay. somebody okay. in that family. Do you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, you know, <laughs> Fucking, you're the worst. <laughs> Boss, on your side again. Fucking you set fucking Rich man. up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you. you really thought that Patrice wanted to hear this shit. I you did. set you up so I bad. Did. I did. <laughs> what did you see in breaking down? It's just, what I'm it's saying just, is, like, what I'm saying what is, get a job. Get a job. God damn, Patrice. I'm getting I'm chest pain. I'm oh, trying funny. to fucking listen to this bullshit. I know. <laughs> you fucking know what I'm saying. The listen. daughter broke the chain of... Because the, she got the a grandma, job. The grandma, the ma, that she broke... You're what right. Is fucking... You're... Didn't you know where that was going to, what? like, yeah. the second he started saying it? Because it's so just pat and... Oh, my God. Like, okay. All right, so... 
one dad rapes his kid. That kid rapes his kid. Someone's going to have to stop raping. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Is that easier? Well, we get, okay. Well, we what? Get dad, was, dad was a drunk. The kid was a drunk. His kid was a drunk. The next like kid said, it. I'm not going to drink. It's That's breaking the it's chain like of this, this is a duck that doesn't fly. Because his, his oh, father yeah. flies. Well, I'm sorry. You know what? And his father flies. <laughs> listen, but I'm not going to fly because well, I want to walk. Okay. It's the fucking okay. Okay. shit. It's his shit. Like, what are you stupid. But the, the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, now, he's now, all say, come on. Wait, stop. Come on, Patrice's There's fucking a, point that you're talking way too fast. Slow down. Take a breath. Take a breath. I know. I'm getting chest pain. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Please don't die in our studio. Yeah. Explain break the <laughs> fucking really chain awkward. of dysfunction. What do you want? E equals MC square? It's easy. It's pretty fucking simple. Why are we talking about breaking chains in front of Patrice? That's not nice. Yeah, okay. But, <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Here's what the problem is. Here's the issue. It's self it's a self awareness that breaks the chain. My mo- look, yeah. do I believe that yeah, kids have- should get beat? Yes! I didn't like getting beat, right? Mm. But I'm not going to say my mother's beatings. Sometimes she she hit me, and it was fucking not necessary. It was based on her youngness, and it was based on not. But but did I deserve an ass whooping? I used to be an arsonist. I burn shit. I didn't know this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're called bridges. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it continues to this day, but, no, but I tell you, that one was good. Was oh, okay. Good. Let's so analyze well, it. Let's yeah. analyze it. Listening that so. Don't worry. Very good. So we'll back it up with a bomb so in within 15 oh, seconds. because he's, he's greedy. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. So, laughs> and he'll try to tell his story about, well, well, I was an arsonist. Okay, there you I, go. I, I, All I, right. I burned and drowned things. Like, you know, right. he'll try to say right. something. Go ahead. He'll That's try it. to say something go better than this. All right, go after my, <laughs> so, go after my handicap. So, go after my handicap, <laughs> diet drinker. <laughs> yeah. See? So, See, I want to know I'm about saying, the, you I being an arsonist. Shit. I used to just love watching shit burn. Well, a lot of us did when we were growing up. I burned, you know. Did you go in the woods and burn some shit a little bit here and there? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then why was it a problem? Hold on. Why was it a problem? Why was it a problem? Yes, because I think a lot of kids shit. go in the woods and burn some shit, so, and hopefully it's a controlled uh, fire. I, I don't. I, the, the, the psychology of why I like to see things burn, I don't know. I enjoy burning. But how shit. bad did it get with you? Like, Aunt and got, I told our stories how, over here's the years. Here's how it got bad. We both had a fire in our childhood that got out of hand, but in general, here's how it got bad. I burned a young, <laughs> me and my mother, a young black woman's kitchen floor. You and your mom burned it together? I, no, I burned it and tried to hide it with a rug. That was... <laughs> I, I burned... A, it was plastic floors. Yeah. No money to get it. You know, if you fuck up your own house, the landlord ain't coming to fix your own burning. <laughs> no. I burned up screens, like the screens, where you light the screens on fire, You they didn't burn. What they Kinda did was crackled. just charred, and then you could just poke your fingers... Through it, and I, I, I did that shit. So I finally burned up the floor in the house. You didn't have toys. And my mother, yeah, but my mother fucked me up so bad that beating. But you know, at the time, I tease her about that beating. But at the time, okay, I deserve that because if my mother said, "Hey, man, you know, fires are bad, and see, fires can kill and <laughs> yeah. like some bullshit," I still, I'd be like, "What the fuck's wrong with this ass?" Like she telling me fires burn. So she beat, what she did was beat fear into me. <laughs> so I had a healthy fear until I realized that, what the fuck was I doing? So she had to beat my ass to put the, for, for practical reasons. Not to convince me that fucking fire was wrong. She had to beat me because, because fucking, oh, I just did it. That so did maybe it again, but that's what I'm that saying. So yes, sh- it was a practical fear. It but, didn't stop uh, you from so wanting to burn shit. So she pushed your face on the stove. Would that have been okay, too? Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause if, okay. cause somebody else's house would have been on fire. Yeah, you I would have escalated. You kept to going, some, right? Yes, now, absolutely. A couple things. When she beat you, did you feel like you could have taken her, but you had to take the beating because psychologically you knew you yes. were fucked if you didn't have and her you in know your what? life. The day I realized that half of it was fear was that when the thirteen, and she's called me and I didn't come, and she hit me with a broomstick in front of my friends. Oh, shit. And I realized it didn't hurt. And then she realized mm, mm. that it didn't hurt. That's a big moment. And then she never hit me again. So after that, every lesson I learned was 
on the job training because I didn't have a father that could punch me in the chest. <laughs> there was no upgrade. It was her yeah, mommy yeah. arms hitting me with a stick, and I went, "What?" That's what happened. My I, dad I, and I looked at her like, "Why yeah. would you do that? Why would you do that in front of my friend? What were you doing? My friends are sitting here." Oh shit! And then that was it. But I would never to this day, like I never. It was never a threatening thing. It was like she realized her arm. It was done. But it got me up to that fucking point. I fucked up a lot after that. But she did what she can. And I, I believe in ass beatings because the problem with kids, my girl's kid, okay, she thinks she has a say. She thinks <laughs> she's a human fucking being. And she's not. She's a thing. <laughs> she's a, a thing. fucking thing. And she should shut her fucking mouth. But she always is like, I got a question, though. And then why? But why? Shh, be quiet. Why? Because I fucking said so. Because I said, I and you're not a person. I was every single adult when I was a kid. Yeah, fuck but yeah. Because I thought they all had permission to punch me in the face. And they pretty much oh, did. You know what? They did back yeah, then. But listen, you know what? Back then, back then, you know what? That's fucking ridiculous. Because it's not your kids do have now, this. Here's, kids now, do here's, how, no. here's how why he don't think. He started the whole thing where it's no, back as because, a child. No. That was his psychological well, stop. profile. No, right. And now he's just casually saying back now then. Back. Said, so, okay. His no, 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 no. Listen, theory. listen, listen, listen. You're saying, so you're saying, you're right. It does start. So you're saying a kid has no say in anything. Then that's going to fuck the kid up when they get older and they have no confidence because you didn't let them talk. Okay. If you're saying you are a thing and you're not allowed to fucking <clears> give it. An opinion or a feeling, then that kid is going to grow up but fucked mom, up. No. I that kid's no, going to grow up. Said, first of all, your mom grow up not shooting up a school, no, and your mom probably because I said don't shoot far. up a school. No, no, you're saying oh, you're, you're a thing seen. and you don't have Rich, a you're, yeah. Rich, uh, what? Hold on, hold on. You're my property. No. The difference yeah. between you two is I think your mom took it too far. No, and that's no, the problem. No, no, you my don't mom took it too far. You don't get it. You don't I get do it. get it. Boss. No, you don't get it because when you're saying <laughs> your do- your girlfriend's daughter mm-hmm. has no, you can't. Don't shut the fuck up. Don't no, ask. Don't tell. No, me. You're no a one thing. Said shut the you fuck just up. said you don't have. You're I'm a saying thing. that for for fucking an extra bit of uh, seasoning to this fucking adult radio program. But and, and when me. she starts talking, I tell her, look, you listen up to a point because. I'm telling you to because kids do not have the rationale to listen to you. They don't understand shit. You buy them something because you're supposed to. You do this because <laughs> you're supposed to. If you go look, go to sleep now. Why do I have to go to sleep? Because if you're tired, because I fucking said so. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, that's folks? Obvious. No, that's obvious. That's why obvious. you only have girls, too. You, you, you mm. just, you got weak sperm, too. You don't got no boy sperm. <laughs> you got no You got kids. little girls and shit. Because I pull out. I like it on the chest. <laughs> I pulled out. And she want, put it I back in. I don't want my son to go through what I went through. As a <laughs> hey, and you, I don't, uh, he's and breaking I don't want, the chains. And exactly. I don't want yeah. no daughters. He just broke the chains. Because no. my daughter probably, she, God will curse me. My daughter have ten pussies. <laughs> 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 on a shoulder and neck and they're all work. all being used at the <laughs> same fucking time just because so horrible shit. to women and shit. that's great <laughs> Patrice by the way getting back to the arsonist thing I always thought you were uh, a good actor but I guess not Arrested mm-hmm. Development you played an arsonist oh yeah from the little fucking see I remember that fucking show I love that fucking <laughs> show and you were part of it what you burn down the banana stand the banana stand yeah. oh, yeah, oh right <laughs> yep I don't know. see Rich uh uh you are you bring up the, oh. the early thing, yeah. But then, it's it's not always about like you're, you're right. And we right. all grew up. Because some that. people have great childhoods and they become and fucked, fucked up. up. They become fucked but up. We all yeah. grew up so in because great childhoods and no discipline. And you saw Master and Commander with Russell Crowe. Yeah. You ever seen a movie? That great scene where he had to talk to this guy because he's trying to be buddies yeah, with the yeah. fucking crew, and Russell Crowe grabs him and goes, "You." They want a fucking leader. <laughs> they want a leader. You can't fucking be friends with these mother. You can't be buddy palsy wowsies with your fucking kids because they're they're abusive, and they're naturally abusive. They're not even manipulative. They just go this punk. 
He lets me do anything. No, that's wrong. That's you. That's you. All kids aren't like that. All kids they aren't all, like that. They are like that. Are you no, pals to your good. daughters? They're rich? inherent. No, they're, I'll tell them, do this, do that, do this. And they will take but, advantage of, of every little thing you No, get. that's human and, nature will take kid, advantage. Until a kid has something to say that's, fucking human that's nature. worth fucking hearing. I do like to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, right. That's 25 <laughs> years and above. That's not a kid. Anybody I finally, under 25 years. When, when I thought I was being abused. I've, as you grow up and you realize things, you go, wow, thanks, Mom. Thank you. Mm. You did me a favor by fucking not letting, because I, I was smart enough to know what's right and wrong. Of course. I just did it. I just did it. Yeah. So I uh, had to have some way uh, to not do it. You're the beating. I, I like the Patrice <clears throat> mom, too. I finally met her. Yeah, she's cool. Backstage she's a good lady, man. That's she's, good she's all right. Hey, listen, this leads to the video that we want to play Friday. I'd love to know where you were going to go, Voss. Yeah. Huh? I'd no, love to know I, where I, you were going to go. At the you barbecue, you would get it. You, let me only tell you what Voss said to my right. mother when he first met her. He said, you look like Roz G. <laughs> no, that was the first. <laughs> <laughs> Roz <laughs> said, Voss said my mother looked like this Roz. big black girl comedian. You look like Roz G. That was the first time I met her. That was the last barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last barbecue. But that's the charm of Voss. Oh, my God. Yeah. She sh sort of does. <laughs> Hey, can we play this video? Oh, fuck, nigga. <laughs> you fucking Patrice, you sons of bitches, Patrice man. looks like Roz. <laughs> <laughs> I was too scared to go with that, but all right. <laughs> Put a little wig on, Patrice. Oh, shit. It's not that. I think that's why, why did I open myself up to that one? <laughs> <laughs> and this is Danny's fucked up. Everybody's fucked up on the show. I wouldn't think to just look up Roz G. Danny, that wasn't even my mind Danny to get a picture of Roz G. In two seconds. You can get it up there fast enough. Hey, it leads to the video that we wanted to play Friday where uh, a father disciplines his kid right on the internet. Yeah, I want to hear this. And forces him to put it on his Facebook. That's his uncle, by the way. Uncle, oh, I'm sorry. Uncle. Um, <coughs> what, what, what's the backstory? This kid was uh, being a fake gangster online or something. Yeah, he was. I, I don't know the details, uh, but apparently, as the story goes, he was posting stuff. You know that he was in a gang, or there was some kind of gang. He was a gang banger and thing, or he was he was just portraying uh, something. He was this persona that he wasn't, and, 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 and the uncle got word of it and said, "Turn on your fucking webcam." That uncle looks like a motherfucker right there. You haven't so. seen this video yet? No. <laughs> oh, it's great. First of all, how's so, that guy on TV with that lip? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, where was he's he? <laughs> Trent Franks is a congressman. How the oh, fuck? Oh, how miserable is that guy? He got caught on a fence <laughs> as a kid. It, it's, yeah, Trent Franks. That's a hair lip, the right? Republican oh, from Arizona. That was I, I thought that you, was a key. I bet you that guy is not to be fucked with that yeah, guy. Yeah, you might have some oh, fucking, boy. something happen in the nom. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow, Gabriel Giffords is looking all right. Oh. No, that's a um, file for the. Oh, 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 oh. That's one of the things, like, you know, there's things you can't overlook with a broad. <laughs> that's a uh, hair lip broad. It's like, I overlook a missing arm before I overlook <laughs> yeah, a fucking hair lip broad. I think, I think you're right. Broad, I think man. you're fucking right. Oh, uh, shit. Let's play this video, though. So, so the uncle gets word that the, the, the nephew there is fucking doing some bad shit on the internet that. It is not true, and uh, kind of forces uh, his little nephew to come clean. Yeah, yeah let's uh... puts on the webcam and does this. <laughs> this with all y'all people on Facebook, y'all parents, y'all need to, to stop all these senseless fucking crimes, all this gang bang shit. This my fucking nephew right here. He ain't no gang member. We don't come from that shit. You, you tell him all that bullshit, but all that all that fake, all that thing, but his ass whooping ain't gonna be fake. Oh shit! Get that on Facebook. Two things. That kid that kid is, is gonna be now. fine for the yeah. rest of his life. Yes. He's gonna be a NASA. He's gonna be a fucking lawyer. But the second thing is the uncle should have said in there, I 
the only motherfucking gangster in this family. Because <laughs> yeah. that nigga ain't it's a shit. Gangster. <laughs> no, it's bench, He's like a that. fucking killer. Yeah, why didn't he put his shirt and on for the, the video? He took his shirt off. All right. And then he goes, if you raise your hand, I'll stomp your motherfucking ass. <laughs> yeah. So he knows some gangster <laughs> shit. He know, he's, that's, <laughs> so that's probably where the nephew got her from. And he's holding him with one hand and just beating him with the other hand. He was his uncle the whole <laughs> right. time. I learned yeah, it from yeah. you, okay? <laughs> He's beating him with a belt. And his pubic hair discovery. is pretty much fucking... Right now, that kid's going to break his chain out. of dysfunction. Oh, and Jesus. that kid is big enough to whoop that oh, little yeah, yeah, small... Yeah. He is scared shit of his uncle. That psychological fear. Yeah. Right? Hey, you know what the thing is? That strap ain't hurting him. He's scared the uncle's going to start punching him in the face. He's just scared. He's scared, Because right that there. strap don't he's hurt. He's scared him straight. And, and, and what are you going to do? When he go up there and they go, yo, let's go. He's scared to death of his uncle. Yeah, how do you think he dealt with it with his fucking posse there? You punk ass motherfucker with your uncle. They guy. might kill his uncle. They might kill his fucking uncle. Do you think he got made fun of at school the next oh, day? He, he totally God. did. We all just but then right he's there. like, fuck you, you go to my uncle, motherfucker. He ain't gonna kill himself. Yeah, I think he saves no. face because his uncle's a scary motherfucker. That's that, I think he saves face at school. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of this video is how the uncle's really scary, but there's a big giant oriental fan on the wall. Is it really? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and he's beating his nephew. <laughs> ah, yeah, look at the big fan. It's probably covering a fucking fist hole. Yeah, that's <laughs> that punching some bitch that's, through the face. <laughs> that's, that's, that's ghetto construction, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and another favorite part of the video yeah. is uh, you could tell that some that somewhere in the in the ruckus, uh, a phone got knocked over because at the end, the tail end of the video you could hear that the phone's been off the hook sound, off the hook sound. yeah <laughs> don't tell me tell them like he yeah, tell them tell that <sighs> motherfucker but this guy's an internet star now now the uncle's gonna be interviewed well i just thought it was necessary <laughs> shut, yeah. shut the fuck and go into it, his I, I i saw the gang uh the violence and uh we must silence the violence <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be all fucking <laughs> preaching and shit is it is, is it auto-tuned a- Oh, it'll, put, it'll, it'll be auto-tune, auto-tune it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a black Those... house, too, with a fake plant. Those... <laughs> <laughs> you know the black... It's got... You can't see there's some horrible picture on the wall. You know what? <laughs> what? I grew up with the same house, like... <laughs> Wooden spoons. My mother had, <laughs> I had the wooden spoons hanging it up on the wall. It was classy growing up, though. But it was wooden spoons. What was the wooden spoons about? <laughs> hanging up on the wall. The just giant wooden spoon and just, fork. It, something to break over. Like, like fucking hanging on the wall in the kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah, Martin yeah, Luther yeah. King, Malcolm X, and Bruce Lee Bruce, picture. Bruce Lee was got, <laughs> Bruce had to be there. <laughs> Bruce Lee. <laughs> it was really... It really was a way to live. <laughs> We had the oh, old Jesus fucking Christ. guinea pictures. What happened? The oh, fucking oh, pictures of Venice painted in thick oil paint. You're talking about last week at your house? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, I'm oh, trying to buy one. Uh, go ahead, Troy. Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to comment. I think I heard Opie uh, say that the guy's pubic hair was popping out. Yeah. Nice call, homo. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, say anything else? Homo. Is he serious? Well, cause, yeah, really? Because what you have to deal with. He's I just read. I just read ten guy. twitters Assholes that don't even know how to fucking do a funny line. The fact is, the, the uncle's fucking pants are uh, pretty much yeah, the, around the, his ankles. Asshole. That's the point of saying Listen, pubic hair. Right, his pubic hair is sticking out as he's trying to give his stupid nephew a life lesson. It's you know, a contrast there. I just read ten twitters. I'm not going to lie, and this is serious. And I hope you guys don't take this wrong. You have the dumbest fan base. Fuck them. That's Sometimes. coming from boss, and that's coming from me. <laughs> but not, no, the ones that play, can, can we small fix the percentage yes. that unfortunately have a big but voice they think out they're there. Funny. Can, 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 can I be fair? There's a lot of non-verbal. Uh, yeah, yeah, fans. yeah, yeah. I know. They, I mean, a lot. Of I fans, wish they were more verbal. But no, they got they, they because they. I they, wish they, those those people with a brain had here's, here's more to me. say on Twitter. There's a there's a else. there's a few that just you know they just they, but look at it's very rare. Like on Twitter, it's very rare I get a real foul one because I will block yeah. you. Yeah, block so you better you better make it good. Yeah. Here's, here's and this is just about block me it. now. It is oh. about the ones that come to the shows are fucking. They're smart. They're fan. They know calm. They come oh, to the show. It's the ones that don't. No, the ones that sit there and think. All right, can it, you, Obi? Can you tell them to slow down? I know. Right. I, I'm not no. going to. Just go ahead. Just slow down. Bro. Okay. All right. Should I? What? What level should I talk? I, I got it, Rich. Don't get, S- stand up right now. Yeah. Stretch a little. Just stretch and relax. Just relax, man. And we're gonna watch it. I'm trying oh, to. Will you just go with it for the I'm show? Just, all right. Go with it for the show. I've been doing stretch. that for fucking ten years. <laughs> stretch. Get get a little relax. Okay. He said stand up, Rich. 
<laughs> that was bad. Oh, Come on, folks. That was good. That was good. That was good. Quick one. And he looked at his drink as his as his. Uh, was that stock material? Oh, Rich? Stock no. trying. He's trying. His, 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 uh, oh, what do you call that when you do that in comedy? Your uh, what is fucking Kool Aid? Uh, you want to go there? Uh, uh, make, no, it's a, no. make people laugh. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> shut up, you fucking board up. Uh, what the fuck is your 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 call or uh, whatever? Anyhow, keep trying. Something no, there's something comedy. You, you know, like after a apart. punchline, people do their cigarette. Or I get do, it, but this is I I mean, just, uh, just a word but for it. But you shouldn't hold a it crutch? up this long for that. Yeah, I know. A crutch is fine, bro. No, it's not a crutch. Okay. A crutch, I think, is pretty accurate. Huh? It would probably be a crutch. All right. Well, you reach for the no, drink after no, you know you just call it. It's something line. else. I, I'll it's on purpose. You do it Listen like as a crutch. I sit back down. I think you're relaxed. Like a Pratt fall? Pratt, like a. Like a uh, no, oh. now we're playing charade. Gimmick. Uh, you started the game, I bitch. Know, don't, like, try to, <laughs> don't try to act like you was trying to. He's nervous as all fuck. I'm not nervous Listen, at all. I'm talking a thousand miles an hour. Yeah, I'm just going What I'm saying about the fans. All right, go ahead. The ones, and probably with you and you and Bobby, the ones that trash or this or that. They, they fucking, they don't come out. They don't support. Or, you know what I mean? Like, there's guys that come to the show. Yeah. There was a bunch this weekend, and they, they get it. These fucking guys think they're funny. They'll twit. All right, you're 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 twitting stuff that has been said on this show ten thousand times. Exactly. What I'm saying is, be yes. fucking original or funny. But I will stay in in, in 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 defense of a few. It, the the way this show is. We are very, very mean to each other, but it's it's scientific almost. Some people don't get. I tell you, okay, very lady trucker. Oh God! Ugh. Like, but she she wants to get it. Like you can feel like she doesn't want to just go. Bruh. She de- she wants to get how to do what they think is being done on the show. I'm just saying. There's a lot of people that don't get. You know, Kevin from Connecticut, I think. He gets how to be mean because it's half of it. This shit is funny. And that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of guys where you go, oh, you're a faggot. Look at it. It's like, it's like, don't like you're waiting for me to say something. Do something that, that, that compels you to talk. You know what he context, motherfucker. Yeah, here's the, context. Here's the thing, lady trucker. Listen, I don't want to know how to put a pallet with a forklift on the back of a truck. You fucking deliver what you got to do and listen, okay? Because there's no reason that they should try to be fucking funny or this because they're not, that's not what they fucking Jesus, do. Jesus, I thought you was fucking let people have the... No, fuck them. <laughs> no, they're not. Jesus no. Christ, I, you no, just no. said you're a nice guy. I said I was a nice yeah, guy. You just said, "Hey, let I... people fucking say what they feel." Don't tell them they can't be funny, because they're not. They're not. We, uh, in, some, in real some life, are, in real no, in real fucking life, at a party, do you want to listen to anybody else's I'm dribble Bobby. unless they're a doctor, I'm or a lawyer? Why can't you listen to that? <laughs> that bullshit. <laughs> You think that's hurting him? Yeah, yeah. That's hurting him. That's fucking hurting him. Yeah, there's it's so much deep scar right tissue there. now. Jeez. All right, there is you, a couple. You wish you could go up to your mommy and do that, right? And I'll get tell you what. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. She's, she's mommy. drooling. She won't know it's me. Hi, mommy. Oh, shit. Jesus. She doesn't know. Man. All right. I'm going in tomorrow to tell her fucking happy holidays. She doesn't know. I didn't go over Christmas. lost it. It's like, why is this? I, I'm halfway thinking, hey, man, stop teasing, Rich. And I'm halfway going to, what the fuck he is He deserves it. Rich? He fucking deserves it. Uh, Steve from Bayshore gets it. Yeah. There's some guys that but get we're getting it. so inside because they have, guy to, that, they have to listen to yeah, Somebody used like, to call you know, from Bayonne that was great. Uh, who, who was the guy? There's some guys that get any, it, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, talking they got it. Twitter, yeah. Twitter people from that follow the show. Yep. Uh, people that, you know, we all got our fans that are I just wish the people not that the show fans. Right. And then this, but but the, the guys, we're talking about the guys who are the show fans and they, they, they have... Mm. They get it. Yeah, All right, we're going to take one last break, and then we'll finish funny. up. With, the, with, the, with the movie that Rich thought was great, I want to talk about True Grit because Patrice had a great tweet about that. Maybe other movies. I don't know. And some well, other listen, shit. Where are you going to be, Rich? I'm going to be in uh, Rhode Island, Providence this weekend at... Uh, Catch a Rising Star. Those guys that come out all the time, they know what they're doing. And Harrisburg next week, the Comedy Zone, door deal. I need hundreds of people. <laughs> True Grit was number one at the box office. I mention that because Big Mama Prods on Twitter, a great one to follow, really. 
is Big Mama Prods. He he writes some funny ass shit. You and know that what? would be Patrice O'Neill. I had a complaint about uh, some of the comics just using Twitter to, to plug gigs. It's 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 uh, it's annoying. Like comics mm. are funny guys. Like Jimmy Norton, fucking guy tweets funny shit all the time. Mm. And then it's like, oh, I'll be at this gig. I'll be doing this. Some comics though, it's just it's like just I had to tell plugging. Joe DeRosa. I had to tell him. I go, I'm I'm gonna stop following you. Because all you do is is plug gigs. Well, That's because he barely gets them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. And, 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 and Joe's a funny guy. You he should be able to tweet some when shit. You, when you, Joe's smart. you put yourself out there to be yeah. ridiculed. Right, right. Some some people are tender. <laughs> They're very tender. Joe's, Joe's a sweetie puss. He really is. He's a sweetie guy. He's a sweet guy. He tries to, you know, he rolls in this mean world. But Joe's a, <laughs> Joe's a honey child. He's a funny <laughs> he's a motherfucker. He's a tickly motherfucker. He really is. <laughs> he is funny, man. You know, because he's Egyptian <laughs> and shit. You know, them Egyptian people, don't, they don't have no fucking sense but, of humor. Really. But the beauty of Twitter, like, if you don't have confidence in a line you're about to tweet, I, yeah. Sometimes I'll tweet while I'm like, I don't know if this is going to go well, and I'll just turn all my shit off for two hours. It's all there. <laughs> and then by the time I get back, they're on to other stuff, and they're not going to like, comment on the bomb I just tweeted. Mine's always nasty <laughs> but, but, or but, confrontational. But you know what, though? <laughs> my only tweet. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah, I, enjoy, fuck you. I enjoy my, my Twitter followers. Because I enjoy the fact that they understand me. I, mm-hmm. I, I, it's a privilege and an honor to be in contact with me on yes. any level. Right. It, it is. I don't, I don't give a fuck. We're not the same. We, I'm, I'm uh, in show business. Right. People know me. You know what I mean? The I business have a, of show. It's, I mean, you're, for real. Yeah, you get you recognized. Just, it's get... like having a phone number. And, and you go, wait, did somebody call? It's like somebody calls you and go, you're a fat fuck and I hope you die. And you go, hey, I'm changing my phone number. (laughs) How'd you get my number? You these people have my number. Twitter's Mm -hmm. that that's Big Mama Prods is my phone number. So you call me, dude. You don't have to be pleasant because I'm not a pleasant. But you have to be in my fucking realm of pleasant my shit. Don't be on your own shit. God, you just nailed it. Oh. Big Mama Prize is your fucking phone. That's your OP phone Radio number. is my fucking and, cell phone. And people can maybe get one call in if you, if you block them. Like, they at least have one call. Make it good, They can make to you. And you only can make it, th- and if you're stupid, you can't use those 140 lines that fucking... No. It, boop. If you, if, okay, after no. that 140 things, you, you're a... Bo- uh, Goodbye. <laughs> How long does it take to block 11,000 people? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's go back to that quote from uh, Patrice. So True Grit finally beat out the little fuckers at the box office because we've decided on the show we're not playing the game. It's fuckers, little fuckers. No, uh, but this is what Patrice tweeted about True Grit. I thought it was brilliant. True Grit is the best boring movie ever made. Two hours of wow, this should suck, but it held me. Who's in True Grit? Five stars or one star? I don't, I don't know. know. I, uh, that's a that's a, a brilliant tweet. Mm. Uh, Jeff Bridges I, I was good. It, oh. it was phenomenal. Phenom- look, it, I, I'm I'm addicted to the, uh, other than the fact they don't have niggas in none of their movies. <laughs> I'm addicted to those two brothers. Cohen brothers. Those Cohen brothers make great. Know how films. to make a good I book. love their movies, but this one was. Afterwards, I went, huh? Hmm. What happened? It's just, but it, it reminded me the same way uh, it hit me how I've seen Unforgiven 50 times. Yeah. And I still I loved go, Unforgiven. I still go, I don't. <laughs> what what I it, what's the lesson I'm learning here? I don't know what this is. It's just, <laughs> it's <laughs> drivel, but it's fantastic. Yeah. It, True Grit was just, it, the, the little girl was one of the best child performers in a yeah, movie yeah, yeah. I've ever seen. She was phenomenal yep, really when she good. played this little asshole. Yeah, a little this fucking little tough cunt. <laughs> Western. Yes, a cunt was yeah, what she yeah. was. She was really and cunty. she was excellent. Uh, yeah. Usually kids bug me in movies. Uh, but she was so good. And Jeff Bridges was, uh, I, you know, he's going to get an Oscar uh, nomination. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, yeah. They underused Barry Pepper. They underused. Barry Pepper's really good. I mean, good. spoiler yeah. alert, motherfucker. They under they underused uh, uh, Brolin. Yeah, yeah. Um, they overused Matt Damon. Yep. And it, it, it's just it you was it was un head. it was unceremonious. It was just like you know like Barry Pepper's was supposed to be a bad motherfucker. Like, yeah, what was? And his bad motherfuckingness was. It just there was, wasn't enough. You're right. There wasn't enough of him. I tell you what it was. Here it is. It was like watching the actual West 
<laughs> it was like way. watching how the West really actually was <laughs> with boring shit and you get shot and you need to ride really fast to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Because the Western guns never really sh- killed you right there. <laughs> you had to ride as fast as you can to the local. <laughs> to get to someone that's going to fucking it, patch it, you up. It just was strange, that move. But I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. it I again. thought I thought it, uh, it, it, was, it was very reminiscent of the old time Western and done up. Like there wasn't, there wasn't all the CGI or anything like that. It was guys in, on horses fucking having some gunfights and. And smart ass remarks and shit. Uh, that's why I liked it. I yeah, fucking. It was. I gotta see it. Like I, my favorite western of all time is uh, is pro is probably the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's probably Silverado. Mm, it, it, yeah, it's because yeah. there's a element of not the west. No, five mm. ten to whatever. To Yuma, whatever that fucking the, the remake <laughs> that five, you... ten, five ten to five ten to Yuma. That the new you know, one. That was a good one. <laughs> five ten to Yuma was. Yeah, you, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, was that good? <laughs> he just. But that would make sense. Never in the, 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 the ghetto. I guess. Six fifteen to, <laughs> to, to Allentown. <laughs> to Plurmore. He just just. A, <laughs> what? I don't even know the real name of the movie now. Like, it was three ten. Oh. Okay. It was it was Russell. Did oh, you say five ten to Yuma? To you, Mo. <laughs> you Mo be there. I know what's, know what's great. I, over. I was watching you and Ant discuss True Grit. Uh, uh, actually, I wasn't watching you because I knew you guys had a great handle on it. I was looking at Rich to see how he would fuck it up. <laughs> well, no. And he, he said a good question. But I you gave went 510 to you, Mo. Because this is... <laughs> it was a while why, ago. I haven't seen why, it in a while. This is why I swear to God I'm going to work hard. I think I'm coming out of retirement because I'm going to fuck... I'm putting Voss on because... Here's why that what that what he did. Voss didn't prepare. He just wanted in. No, I didn't. That's so what I was watching to see what he would do. Time he wants Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. to think of he because he doesn't give a fuck no, about no. the seven twelve disconnectedy. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, how about he's maybe, not in the conversation. Why don't you, well, first of all, we really like it, True Grit, quit, quit. and we're getting ready to go into a place where. where oh Jesus! Okay, wait, me, we're getting ready to go. Me. I'm we trying get to get in because you don't shut go, the fuck up. We get ready to go. But, good point. But we were... No, no, it's no, not what a good said, fucking yes, point. Yes, it is a good point. What do you say? I'm from Jamaica, the Penn Station. <laughs> the 510 Penn Station. I'm from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing. What, what you did you like about it? 310 to Yuma? Thank you. What do I one. like about it? Yes, because you had to, like, jump well, in on it. Well, one here's... Now, I, I bet you don't even know what the fucking movie was about. <laughs> now, you talking about psychological? <laughs> yeah. Page one of the horseshit manual. <laughs> <laughs> the horseshit what manual. did you like about 310 to Yuma? I didn't have, know. What did well, I, I mean, tell you the best thing about 310 to Yuma? Oh, no, 510. He said 510 to Yuma. I'll tell you the main thing I like about 510 to Yuma. For an hour and 45 minutes, I didn't have to talk to Bonnie. We could just sit and watch it. Nothing on that one. What I liked was... Why do you beat her up so much? Because you're the short end of the stick of that relationship. I'm the short end of every stick. (laughs) What are you doing to poor Bonnie? She can't even defend herself. That's why he beats her up. (laughs) (laughs) Because he doesn't want her to realize... Why did I let this motherfucker ruin everything? She made a giant mistake. Uh, (laughs) You made a giant mistake marrying Bonnie? No, she's great. Here's my favorite movie. That I've seen recently. in months recently. What I said before. Three ten, no, no. Don't let them leave. No, no. Five ten to Yuma. Yeah, I don't even know if you know what, the, what was Yuma. The, what, don't what, let him talk his way out of five ten. What, what's the Russell Crow yeah. was first of all was fucking Get the actual synopsis of this movie. And, what? I'm shutting my mouth, but this motherfucker, man, go ahead. It was a while ago. Rich, in what I like. I see. Silverado no, no, no. came out in '87. Yeah. Fuck, fuck what you liked about it. What? Give in one minute explain five ten to Yumo to everybody. In one minute? Oh. One minute. What was the movie about? That's all I want right a now for you. A guy on a mission. A what? A guy on a mission. He's not gonna, we're not going to let you off the hook. That. That's every movie I've ever made. Well, that's, you know what? That's how I look at it. I keep things simple. What was it about? <laughs> I don't break them down. And then okay, we're, and I'll then give we're you the actual storyline. Story like, give, give me the storyline of 510 to you. I just remember, I like Silverado. If I say Silverado, 
well, is you, my favorite western. I was going to go into why, why it's your favorite western. Why? Well, because you're a Five, better man ten, than me, and you probably do. You man. probably do much better on par sixes. What I'm saying uh, is. Fucking see. Winter's what, Bone. Okay, I just saw Winter's yeah, Bone. Yeah, and and now I too. know, and I learned, par six is ridiculous. Yes. But there are courses that have par six. Yeah, like rich. two in the country. But it doesn't matter. You'll never, now you'll but never again. But I did again. not poke my mouth out saying, I didn't go, da 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 Par six, <laughs> motherfucker. I can't, you you know, interrupted and with the confidence of an asshole said, Five ten to yummy. They said. <laughs> they said. What was your? Listen. When they said, what was your favorite western? Okay. By the way, it's no one asked that. You just yes, came in yes. with it. No, no. It's, he said, it's what's ten your ten right now? Okay. It's ten to ten well, right now. But Winter's Bone. So. I'll tell you because I just saw what I liked. No, we're not letting you off. The, no, five I'm ten not, to you. I don't remember. All I know is I liked it. But Winter's Bone. Right, the characters. Now, the characters now he's going in the movie. To the characters. Just talk about a movie that he fucking knows. You're you right. know. Jaws. Okay, Days of Wine great... and Roses. If... Here's the thing. What? Winner's Bone, How I know that you? movie. The, Winner's Bone, the casting in that, the what? characters. Is this a How recent movie? How did we leave right. uh, you know from what? Yuma? I have, I, I have confidence enough to allow him to get past the five tenths of Yuma. Okay. What's this new movie? It's not new. It's on video. How, I just saw How old it. is it? it? It's in 2010. It's All up right, for Golden Globes. Relatively new movie. Yeah. Tell us the storyline of this movie Winter's you like. Bone. What I like, and, and I'll, tell you what, line, I'll tell you what I like. No, first I'll tell you what I like. The cast, the characters, one. Oh, you, my God. You, you didn't even think they were actors. You thought they just picked them up. This is stock movie you. review shit. What is the storyline of the movie that you liked, that you that, saw recently that you didn't have time to forget? Huh? What's the movie about? <laughs> the movie's about a girl trying to find the truth about her dad. Okay. Trying to find the truth about her dad, and she's holding her family together at 17 years old, and the girl's going to win an Oscar for it. Okay. Chick flick. No, it's not. No, no I'm telling you, it's Danny, a good we got fucking movie. For that. Okay. What it's is a, the fucking movie I just about? Told you. I just told you. No, we're going with the other one now. His, uh, Winter what? Winter's Bone. And get Ryan Starr in here. He's going to play us out there. Winter's Bone. Yeah. Winter's Bone. I'm telling you, if you watch the movie. Yeah. All right, what'd you say? A 17 year old girl? Mm. Yeah, she's trying to hold her family together. Her mom's fucking bugged out, got mental issues. The dad is fucking. I'm already. Is dead I'm somewhere. Is <laughs> dead <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he can't listen. Boss takes the headphones off every time he can't listen to that. Right. Okay. <laughs> this, is that the real story? Patrice, would you do yeah. me the pleasure yes, of reading the it. real story? That's line, what I just which said. Which seems a little different than what Rich no. just said. Family intact. I just An said that. An unflinching Ozark mountain girl hacks uh -huh. through dangerous social terrain as she hunts down her drug dealing father while trying to keep her family. Just intact. watch what watch a movie. Missed, I guess it. He missed a few the things. I know a reason to watch the movie. Listen. First of all, he, he, enough wait, of Voss analyzing is, me. We're not listen, analyzing you. Listen, I got Voss, a fucking seven thousand dollar Rolex. Voss, Go Voss, fuck yourself. It's like Voss goes. <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, three plus three oh, is here, six. Here, here, or three plus three is ten. Yeah. And we go, Voss, it's six. And he goes, See, I see what you're doing. You're attacking me. <laughs> no, no. Voss, <laughs> an unflinching Ozark mountain girl. Yeah. What you said made me sick, and I'm not gonna go see it. Hunts down. You hunts down her hunts drug down. dealing father <laughs> while trying to keep her family intact. You're the reason I I don't want him to change Huck Finn. Cause of what? Cause of oh nothing. Oh the. <laughs> I had to, nigga, I had to go back to Mark Twain. <laughs> Did you just use? Come on. Did you didn't think that was a good fuck? Uh, no, come on. Get the fuck out of here. I'm racist like, like, like you. I, I read know. this in. <laughs> since I was a baby. They're changing it. They're changing it. We know. But what does it have to do with how. This is exactly <laughs> while girl. trying to keep her father. And her, she's hunting down her father, trying to keep you didn't her. Say that. A big deal because I said she's she trying to, to learn the truth about her father. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I know. She and that's hunting. okay. Fine. That's exactly okay, said, watch it. I'm right. not trying to find the yes, truth about her is. father. Yes, she is. Hunting down her drug dealing asshole. Father. Is he alive or is he dead? I don't want to uh, give you the ending. It, it, a big oh, deal. She's, so, she, so I didn't say she's going through the, she's going through bushes in the mountains. <laughs> big deal. That's not the fucking plot. 
<laughs> you fucking guys. You, you know, you, hey, you, listen, wait no, a minute. You do it to no, yourself, Rich. What's Rich, that? But we that, you did start you this said, with saying I like 510 to you, Mo. Let's not forget. Okay. You know what he just said? What? He just said something that in his, in his like, his the whole thing of his defense and defending himself, he said a line in it that he threw away as if it was it, it was mediocre. Yeah. And it was irrelevant. But it made it. What, you want me to tell you that she's fucking running through the woods hunting down her dad? Yes. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Why does it matter where she's? What does that matter? For me to go see the fucking movie, <laughs> you, don't have to, you have to go. It's, Rich, it's on we, video. You hear, I even said. I even said it sounds like a chick flick. Right. right. The it's way not. you described it, we know like it's a chick not flick. chick flick. Because you got the actual story I'm only, I'm I'm only coming here like alone from now on. It sounds like a fucking no. Just watch a movie. I was. I'm right. He killed the whole town. Who? Oh, uh, Aunt was telling about a movie. I forgot the name, mm. but you was the guy. Oh shit, Lenny Marcus. The guy, the guy put. The oh guy, fucking the, that maniac guy! What? It's like Rampage. Is that Rampage. the name? It's called yeah. Rampage. I ran to get that movie that day as soon as I heard the description <laughs> so of the movie. Twisted. Like that was a great movie. Yes. Yeah, well, I want to see critic. this movie. We, he's not a movie critic. Yes, no. he is. He's a guy who watches a movie that you think. No. I, wait, you think I should see the movie? Uh, you, not by what I, not by, not by my description. <laughs> and he just throws himself in the shitter. But see it. That's, see that's it. the last no, thing on. he does. <laughs> that's the last. <laughs> what, what, what's up, that Ryan? One. That's there the. He is. That, How you doing? How you doing, man? In the end, that's what you do, Rich. What's that? You just give up and throw yourself in the shitter. What the fuck? Yeah. Just go see the movie. What the fuck? But we want to know why we should see the movie. Because it's good. Miserably, I'll say it again because a lot of people are talking. And goes, oh, that sounds like a chick flick, which makes people go, yeah, I ain't seeing that horse shit. Then we fucking see the real storyline and go, it seems like There's it's a really good down movie. Going okay, on. well, maybe you know what? I'm not a fucking movie critic. All it's time. Just, you have to be a movie critic. critic. No, you just got to be able to describe huh? something. Winter's Bone, did you see it? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all right. Ryan started to see that. Nah, Black Swan. No, uh, no but I'm looking at Black it. Hippo now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. You know what You're getting, uh, He's getting desperate. He's going to the no, fat But joke. that yeah. was fucking actually good. Yeah. Oh, thank you for but validating he is, it. He is really... You're not even... ...player. You're fucking... ...thousand. <laughs> really? You went after how I talk and that... And really... Really? That's been done two million times. Really? Really? That's stock Voss. Okay? okay. He's stock Patrice. Yeah, well, he's... All right. So I, I, but when he does it, it's okay. Let me tell you something. You two are fucking... I defended yeah, you. You, not today. Let me tell you, he, he, you tried to. Because <laughs> I hate you and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this, is, this is keeping the fucking sound out. He, does, done this he doesn't want to put a winter coat on, but you're going to put a headband on. Oh, let's find what's wrong with him for that. But why don't you just get Hold a little on this fucking garage band guys in here. Let him fucking sing his song. Oh, Jesus, whoever the fuck he is, I know he, he's probably voted for fucking Obama. You can tell he's got a rainbow decal. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm one of the three. I, got, I got the same necklace. Oh, you do? Oh, really? I'm not going to make fun of me. I'm sorry. I like a Jew like him because he's not a typical Jew. That's why I like him. <laughs> What's you got tattoos? Typical tattoos. Oh, fuck. Hey, but my beard makes you look like a rabbi, no? Look at this. Huh? Yeah, I love no, my it looks, makes you look like a terrorist. <laughs> you got a little rabbi beard. It does, right? People, Kinda, people think I look bit. like a... Ryan, Ryan, Borat, Ryan's been a, uh, a, yeah. a... He's been a friend of the show for a while. No, he's got, I know. He's got a new... He's fucking good. I listen to him oh, all the time. You can beat him up. He understands that shit. But he uh, he's uh, he's gonna you know uh, he's gonna sing us out. Are you gonna be in Harrisburg? Not this weekend. Next weekend? Because I'm at the Comedy Zone. No, but I like Harrisburg. Been there. Mm. Yeah, going to be at Webster Hall in New York City, though, January ah, 18th. Fuck. Yeah, That's he's, nice. he's Good. starting to fucking move, man. That's what I'm saying. Roland, he's, he's starting to move here. up the charts, right? Started here. You guys are like the first guys ever to have me on the air. I wouldn't yeah, put that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't help Voss. I think we pretty much were the first kidding? radio show fucking, we ever did. Are you kidding I just do this out of fucking dysfunction. <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, before we uh, stop talking about movies, but we did already, but I don't care. No, let's keep uh, going. The, uh, I'll be thrown under the bus for this, but it was a funny fucking movie. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, oh, I know what he's going to say. Uh, it stunk. What? The one with fucking where they were cops. The, the other two, guys. Uh, you laughed at that? 
Yes, I did. Oh, I really hope I, your gun backfires. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. You like the other guys? I, I, I haven't seen it yet. You know what? Give us a give us I a fucking was funny, fucking funny. funny out of now listen really? how he explains why it was, it was funny, Rich. You can learn something today. You know why? Mark oh, Wahlberg. Thanks. Mark he Wahlberg was funny. is almost doing a Dirk Diggler character in this fucking movie, and it's uh, it, it's it's the typical kind of cop movie with the the hero cops. And then there's the guys in the background. This is the story about the guys in the background. So Sam Jackson and the... And oh, the I see. I see. They're like the okay. hero cop. The concept is already interesting. Yeah, they, yeah. The, 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 We've the all cops. seen the cop. Mo- and then there's the smart-ass guys in the room, you know, in the in the detective, you know, the, 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 the squad. Oh, it's like Starsky and Hutch. You know what? And it's the other dudes. It's the other oh. guys. Voss. Okay. You know said, no, I, I know you think I'm against you. No, yeah, really? But the, it, the already, Are you thinking he's against Anthony? No, he's against me. He's doing this already, with Anthony not, to make me look like... Oh, no, I don't think so. I'm telling you. I know what he's doing. Already, the concept of that... concept is... It's interesting because they're different. talking about the dudes who aren't Starsky who aren't and Hutch. the guys. That's not right. funny to you already? That's not listen, interesting. Listen to me. This is what I'm held listening. the movie together. Okay. Mark Wahlberg was fucking He was His character was Very great. Funny, yeah. It, it was great. you didn't like the movie uh, when no, Ann said I, it. You can still like a character or like, you, can, you don't have to like a movie to like. Uh, right. Now I'm not ca- going to see it. Good. It's, in the, it's on video. Yo, I've listened to this I, show for years. I can't believe you guys aren't talking about Black Swan. That I thought would be the topic of conversation. Uh, right now. I didn't see it directly. Supposedly, Best. people are telling me to go see no. this fucking movie. Well, it's, it's, it's a chick flick. It's a chick flick. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Some, 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 some will say, oh my God, bitches. I just watched a ballet movie. It's not a ballet movie. The best masturbation scene ever recorded on film in the history of Who's film. Who's doing it? Natalie Portman. Down Natalie Portman. Yeah, Natalie Portman. She's a hot. She and she's one of the tribe. Yeah, she's yeah, a queen yeah. of the Jews. When you yeah. masturbate, you're not going to ruin this. Queen of the Jews. You're not going to ruin it for no. us. Uh, why no, does she? Ma- why does she go see it? But why does she make it the best uh, masturbation? It's incredible. Have I mean, because ever- she does things that you go. I didn't know they do it like that. You know, like well, you, this you guy. Know, what he's really crazy. focused because he don't watch porn. Because <laughs> have you ever? I, I, I saw a great me. masturbation I, scene I, in the. Fuck. Have you, I, have you yeah, ever? I, and, she used, and she used Hold that on. guitar you had. <laughs> Put it the on other guys, <laughs> Anthony. Why was the so? It was, it's the story of the guys in the background. Yeah, yeah, hey. and and they slowly, of course, you know, they got to go with the pat story of they get eventually they become in a heroes. big crime and they have to uh, deal with it, but. Um, Will Farrell is is funny in it, but he, you know, he's not a good cop, and it's them two kind of bumbling their way around. And uh, there's some there's some very funny uh, parts and funny lines. Can I have very the copy? Awkward. Did Wahlberg is you? Wahlberg. I uh, no, I think it's available on uh, on demand. Have you ever masturbated? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever masturbated and go? Like you get so excited when you're masturbating right before, and you think to yourself, "All right, maybe I'll just taste a little of it right right before." But after you come, you go, "I can't do it." You know? Have you ever tried? Have you ever no, thought about I'm, it? No, I really. You never, never thought I, just to I, see what it would I, taste I, like. No, no. no. Have you ever thought to, for real? I've Be never, for real. I've, I've gone. D- I've gone down on a girl after I've shot in her. <laughs> I've never done that, but but, but, yeah. but but I wouldn't like stick my tongue way deep in. I just lick the clit, but you could still taste a little tang. There. No, but the, the the dirtiness of shooting a load on your stomach. You think? No, maybe I'm not going to shoot a load on my stomach and eat it. What the fuck? Well, I, I, I never have. I never have. But you never thought about it, and then no. you get. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Voss has a minute number, a very minute number of of shit he know about. (laughs) And he going to segue into this fucking masturbating. No matter what. (laughs) He's talking about masturbating. You're blaming him for your career, though. But here's the thing. (laughs) My career is great. Hey, hey, he fucking... Oh, here we go. Wait a minute, though. I'm just saying. All right, doctor, let's go. We go from the highest levels of psychologically profiling people... Mm -hmm. To just basic, hey, what you see at the movies? <laughs> and he can't even say what he saw at the fucking movies. If we really did run the gamut of, of <laughs> intellectual talk to, to just... You Nothing. think he comes in here just water I taste cooler my shit, cum. and he had to like, throw in I taste my it. cum. I got to no, talk about hold You think he comes in with just five things he wants to get That's out, it. Three. and he just Three. waits I and impl- waits? I implore you. To go through Voss's file. He was in a hotel. And see girl. if he talks about anything other than I'm... five subjects. <laughs> Don't run, bitch. Sit down. Rich. I'm standing, ho. And Rich. Sit down. I'm standing. <laughs> Rich, you are, you, are, you are great on this show, but I'm never able to explain why you're great to anybody. 
Wow. I'll say it. Oh, really? Like how a, about how I, about your time when no, you're it's not, of because comedians. you can, yes, yes, you yes, can't yes. just break it down. You you're can't. Bro- hold on, hold on. You can't break it down. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't break it down to people and go because he's really funny. It's way more than that with you in this show. You're funny, absolutely. Okay. But the reason the you're great line. on this show, I can't explain to anybody. They have to hear it for themselves. I'll tell you why. I, and I've never said this. Voss is truly dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. We just explained it. <laughs> it's honest dumb. That is honest. It's he's real. As on, he's as it's real dumb as you fucking can get. I got more money than you. I don't know that. I do. Brad Axelrod didn't tell me that. Oh, oh shit. shit. Because he doesn't Back take your Brad. calls. <laughs> I don't take Brad Axelrod. You just work for him. Shut up. I didn't take his calls. You just work for him. <laughs> and even though he's been around for whatever years, he's there's an innocence to him. It is. Rich has an innocence. But a mean, and he's like. How is that possible? With he's all like, shit a, you've been he's like a retard with a knife. Like, he'll just say some shit like, I got more money than you. Like, I don't. That's just like a retarded man taking a swing with a knife. <laughs> I'm going to see the other guys. I saw the social network over the weekend. See Winter's Bone. Oh, is that the social network? Loved it. Can I have it? Can I borrow it? Are you Come sure on, it's not please. Summer's Bone? Oh, Let's out. make sure that it's the right uh, Summer's Bone. It comes out tomorrow. Because somebody's out there looking for 510 to, 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 yummy, to, 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 to candy yams. <laughs> <laughs> he said 510 to you. 711 to Yahtzee. Yeah. <laughs> the I think we're done. Uh, but we do have Ryan Starr. I'm sorry. It's been a crazy day. I love it. Right, so love what, it. what have you been up to really quickly there, Ryan? been uh, touring my ass off since... Are you, uh, are you starting to make it? Because I don't know. Roland's fucking you know, tons of No, Roland says you are. I yeah, man. No, no. Yeah, we, yeah, you're I moving up the charts. Top 20 on radio right now. You could, you could play a second of it, man. Start a fire. It's no, called. You know what I'll do for That's you? That's the new song. Top 20 on regular radio. I want, you to play, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want you to play some live, and then we'll end with uh, right, right, what's perfect. moving up the charts. This, uh, this but no, no. Hold might... on. I'm we'll get... Yeah, I was going to tell you. a minute. I was going to tell you about the song, man. But, but you got a CD out? I do. It's called 1159. Came out a few months back. uh, (laughs) It came out a few months back, and uh, it's been torn my butt off, man. You uh, married, dude? I am. Yeah. Interesting. Lots changed. Took yourself off the market there, huh? Did you get married before the fame? Uh, It's a continuous. uh, Uh, A Jewish girl or a non-Jew? Girl, Long Island girl, man. You're lucky, man. Wait, what what town? Uh Uh-oh. Where I grew up, Huntington. Oh, yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Bayshore. Is it racist over there? Top of the town. Well, racist yeah. over there? Nah, uh, the Long Island Expressway uh, chops Long Island. Just racist. It's, 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 yeah, it's a yeah, racist the two seats from, seats from you. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, man, we had a, we had a song uh, on VH1. It was on the top 20 on VH1 for a while. A song called Breathe that uh, actually was a very New York video. We got right. real unemployed people to uh, be in the video and try getting them work by setting up a website for them. And... Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's funny. It's just, uh, you get out there, and I see so much, so many people using the, using these opportunities for such, you know, nonsense. That it was nice to be able to do something positive. That's I like the funny. nonsense myself. But now yeah. it's yeah. Now Why should he yeah. waste all this horse shit on marriage? Yeah. You know how much <laughs> fucking spiritual pussy this guy could get? Spiritual <laughs> <laughs> fucking the from bitches that like, oh, tell me that. bitches yeah, with man. fur hats and fucking <laughs> yum, 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 they mom. Fuck. Bunch of Buddhist pussy. You know how much Buddhist pussy is fucking full of shit, motherfucker. The Jewish Billy Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, I'm jealous of this guy. All right, fucking yeah, let's hear is, this music, man. Yeah, this is going somewhere, not just on my stomach. You God know what I mean? damn it, son of a bitch. He right, just smashed you. Huh? He just smashed no, you. No, he smashed I'm talking you. you. Oh. <laughs> you just oh, smashed me. God. Fucking boss, man. You thought he was smashing... Patrice that he was smashing he, you. He's basically he's not a smasher. No. Even if he was, he's saying, "Hey, I love my wife, and at least it's not going to bullshit." He goes, "My cum, <laughs> my cum is oh, going it's, inside it's, and not on my stomach." He meant it's, it was cum because you were you were you eating more. your own cum, you <laughs> cum eater. Now Ryan Star, why don't you play a song? So, so this song is called Brandy Day, and it's uh, it's actually the theme song to a show called Lie to Me. On yeah, Fox. On Fox. Oh, have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, so. okay. Very cool. Ryan Star, you do you that have one. Yeah, but Lie to Me. Lie to Me, man. With uh, t- Tim. What's Tim Roth. Tim, Tim Roth. Okay. And uh, it just won some of those. What was it? What people? Uh, last week, People's Choice Awards. People's Choice Awards. Oh. Award, yeah, I was like to see that. Yeah. And this song is the. Okay. It's the theme song. song. It's called Brandy Day. Damn, Ryan Star. Oh, shit. That's talent because you're singing that to dudes. 
<laughs> I know. The hell you so awkward you for all of us. Like but... 10 in the morning also. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How, how do you show passion like that in front of dudes? <laughs> That's why he's fucking. He pays no attention to dudes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. He just closes his eyes. I and just fucking does it. I, I, I take the dude seriously all weekend. I was ESPN, all the ESPN stuff. They've been playing some of my tunes there too. Jesus and it's uh. So so yeah. you try to get the dudes, try to get the girls, and you try to get the grandmas. It's See? perfect yeah, equation. No shit. That's original shit it. there. I sat some Long Island shit you've been doing. Okay, that's fucking some <laughs> <What>? real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Long Island shit that I've been uh, doing. You know whatever you do, you get on stage with your cow. Bell or whatever the fuck you do. <laughs> oh, okay, go fuck yourself. That was real. That was real. Like, Why are you taking a yeah, shot? Just, and do you thing. really hate me? I'm no, not at all. Okay. I just got the best oh, tweet out of all of them today. Can you tweet me? No, well, this guy. At Ryan Starr, come on. This fucking guy, when the, a black dude was beating his kid, I go, his pants are down. The guy goes, that's because his belt is off beating the kid. Get it? Anyhow, what I'm saying is, Holy shit. it was a good it's tweet. Got, it was a good tweet. That's some crazy tweet. Wait, was that your tweet? That's no, crazy. some guy sent it to me. It was Twitter's funny like though. <laughs> Brian Star, guy, what are you on Twitter? It's at Ryan Star. It's at Ryan one, Star. one R, by the way, S T A R. And uh, okay. it's, so you should see the difference in my Twitters to his Twitters. That's really some crazy. Even even mm. guys that are the nicest guys want to come in and fuck with me. I'm telling them how great he is. No, I'm not, I'm not saying anything not, about you. I'm just not, no, I'm right. saying those tweets. See, you always say so you always so think it's about you. I feel like he's I'm, saying that it. his I'm, tweets are fucked. He your doesn't necklace. have shitty tweets. He has got he has people only oh. do supportive tweets. Is what he's saying. What I'm saying you, is, I love Voss his music. Voss feels like he's being burnt by a, a I, I feel pipe like, all the time. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 I'm so fucking numb. I can't well, even hear right? what people are saying. No, <laughs> you're no, not all right. I'm not. No, sit next to him for any... fucking three hours. You, no. man. you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Victim. What? He's Mr. Victim. I'm not a victim. From now on, you can only come ever. in when he's here because you guys haven't been together in a while. We haven't I know been that. together. Bobby is it so much great. easier. It was great right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Uh, Rich, where are you going to be? I'm going to uh, play uh, another one from Ryan as we uh, leave, but. I'll be in uh, uh, Rhode Island this weekend, catch Rhode Island, Harrisburg next week in the Comedy Zone. But more important, he'll be at Webster Hall, and you'll see some real good shit from him. You're coming, right? Uh, on my stomach. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't even set that up. That uh, was, you guys are the 2011 Abbott and Costello. <laughs> okay. like, hold on. Stinky wants to oh, say something. Jesus Christ. Oh, what comedian did you say he looks like? No, Stinky was the other one. I know. No, I know. Oh, but the oh, other line. Roz. I, I kind of like that line. That's all. Oh, good. I get to believe on I like the line. Well, because I know I don't feel like getting a phone call from you later. Oh, really? So I'll do it now. Oh, no, that was really good. You did that. <laughs> Patrice knows. <laughs> no phone calls today. You it's did great. Tough, I'll say it live in front of everyone. You, you wasn't great. mad. You wasn't He's mad classic. at me when I said that thing. When I said it. Even though Obi had called retarded for an hour and a half of the show. You deserve what you did, bro. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. I'm on your side, dude. I'm telling you, I'm out of retirement now. All right. <laughs> Patrice is out of retirement. Because I'm, I'm going to fucking make it for Patrice, balls. are you promoting anything? Big I got prods. February 19th, my special comes out. I was at the taping, and this thing's going to do really well, man. I'm telling you. And then you get the DVD out with all the other DVD stuff. DVD comes right at, with uh, 45 minutes of content, Not, some extra no. this, some extra that. And oh, they're yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to put my first special in there, too, as a little bonus. Yeah, the first cool. one they did in, I did in, like, 2001. You get a little taste of that? A little bit? A taste? Nah, and they bought me like a goddamn... <laughs> they bought shit. me for pennies on the dollar, nigga. They gonna That's make, it. <laughs> somebody going to buy money. some... Kind of, I hope so. Listen, I'll trade in being able to fill up Albany fucking... <laughs> Philharmonic with their three seats. If I go to Albany, I just want to get some people to come to see me if I'm going to Albany. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So yeah. Comedy Eccentric can keep the change, nigga. As long as they fucking you promotion, know, do yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? All so right. that's it. And uh, Ryan... Um, you want me to just play the disc? Yeah, man. Get play. easy for you this today. This new song, Start a Fire. Start a Fire. And, and uh, how do they get this? How do who get what? I'm trying to promote you. How do who oh, the get people. What? The yeah. people. <laughs> my friends the out there. Fans? It's uh, it's on uh, my album. My album's called 1159. It's on iTunes and stores now. Right. And uh, I promise you, uh, my man over here, give you a money back guarantee if you don't like it. I promise you like like the album. All right, good. Ryan Starr. And uh, Webster Hall, January 18th. Fucking just blowing up right in front of our eyes. We'll play Fucking this and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Shit, man. That made me like music again. Check out the song, man. <laughs>